of GAA. We all belong here, in this place, at this time. We belong not because of who we are or where we come from. Being here means belonging. Belonging means knowing you're part of a community. A community that has a place for all. Where potential is nurtured. Where individuals become teams. Who honour the legacy of those who went before and strive to build a legacy of their own. Some of us play. Some of us used to play. Some of us never played. We all belong. Belonging means having a voice. Means being able to say what you think is right. Being listened to. Belonging means respecting each other. Means being there for each other. On the pitch, off the pitch. Belonging means rolling our sleeves up and doing what needs to be done. We all belong, whether it's our first day or our hundredth year. We all belong here because this place belongs to us all. Our GAA, where we all belong. It's a long drive to Croker from here. In ways even longer for the fans. The effort, I can tell you, it's worth it. Even today, I can still hear it. The roar of the hill. It's gonna be something else. You're all very welcome here to Barton Glass this evening for the semi-final of the Darcy Sands Intermediate Football Championship between Hollywood and Carnew. It's a crisp uh, October evening here. The sun probably going to be the biggest factor. Small breeze down into the hospital end. I have Frank Clune joining me here. Uh, Frank, it's, a, it's perfect conditions for this time of the year, really, for football. No, spot on. You couldn't get any better now, Emma, to be honest with you. The grass is... Uh Looking a bit longer than I'd have expected, but at the same time, now it's a lovely evening for a game of football. Now, looking forward to this. Two young, fit teams. Uh, it's going to be a cracker, hopefully. Yeah, and these two teams, may earlier in it, the scoreline might suggest it wasn't a great game. I was up at it, it was eight points to two, three. The Hollywood won by a point, but it was a cracking game of football, as you said. Two young teams went hammer and tongs ahead, and you just alluded to the grass. I, I wouldn't be taking my chance on hopping it there tonight. No, it'd be a, it'd be a tough outside, all right, to get a bounce off it, but um, going back to the low scoring, Emmett. Uh, 
a lot of the championship games, senior and intermediate for the year now have been low scoring and I think just defences are that bit stronger for the last couple of years and you might see that today again. Um, they have a couple of strong players in Hollywood there as well in defence now. You watch out for number five, Conor Burke, he's as strong as a horse and uh, I tell you, him going up the pitch at the same time, cutting out a few scores from Carnew, could be a, a tight one again tonight. Yeah, look, I suppose matchups are going to be key. I, we're just going to give you a quick run through the teams here, starting off. Uh, Karen, you are up first, as far as I know, they are indeed. In goal is Carr McDoyle. Uh, number two is Michael Rock. Three is Connor Wafer. And number four is Paul Nolan. Michael Rock is good, but he can't play in both corners, in fairness to him. Thomas Collins is at five. Adrian Myers is at six. Uh, Justin House starts at wing back, wearing number ten. John, Do John Doyle will be in uh, midfield with Parik Dorn. Number 18, John Kavner replaces, uh, starts at wing forward. Jack Doyle is at 11. Paddy McGing is at 12. And a full forward line then for Carnew, John Doyle, Conal McRae and Owen Young. The uh, Hollywood team is as follows. We have Colin Tutty, Shane Kelly, Harry Wilson and Harry Houlihan are the full back line. Connor Burke, Michael Healy and Luca Harney in the half back line. Caelan Burke and Keane Tyrrell in midfield. Robert Kelly, PJ O'Keefe and Robert Houlihan make up the half hour line with Ben O'Keefe, Stephen Kearney and... Uh, Stephen Kearney and John T and Burke in the full forward line. So pretty much the same teams that lined out that last night they played. As we said, it's a gorgeous evening here. The crowd is still filling in here in Barton Glass. Um, we've no ref on the field just yet. Just as far as you know, you've played in the grade yourself. This intermediate, uh, Frank, it's a, it's really hard. You know, there's very little between the teams and there's seven, eight, maybe all the teams in it, there's only a point between them any night really, isn't there? Every time you go out, you'd be hoping to, to, to get a victory and maybe to go on and progress in the championship and uh, Hollywood are here in semi-final and they could well be in a final and very much on merit and look at, we bet, played them there about five, six weeks ago and there's only a point in it, last minute free by a good young lad there now, full forward Stephen Kearney. I coached him 2010 at under 16 level and I thought he was a great footballer and to be honest with you, he showed it there now against us but they've all been one point games, been very few hammerings, I think there was one at the beginning and that was about it there's very little between them and uh, it's a it's a, it's a a dogfight to get out of intermediate, you need that bit of luck as well so I'd say there'll be nothing between, uh, between the teams here now today either Yeah and look, I, I alluded to it uh, I think I was talking to someone earlier in the day and I just alluded to it about the uh, the um, the tightness of this group. I think if everyone in this played one another three times, you'd probably end up with a win a piece and a draw. Yeah, <laughs> you know? and, and, and that's be, the way the group. You're should. dead right, and yeah. you'd be hoping for it as well. And that's yeah. exactly it. There's very little. There's near a weak team in it. And uh, I tell you, whoever's here now in the last four are there on merit. Now they've got the bit of rubber green, but I tell you, they've pushed on strong in the winter championship, and uh, they're, they're due their their credit uh, to, to where they are now at this late stage. Yeah, we're just rocking up here now. Noel Kinsel is out on the field. He's looking for the two captains. We're just getting ready uh, to. Get this one underway. Both teams just finishing, putting their finishing touches to their warm up. Hollywood just going down to do their last few runs. Um, yeah, there's actually another uh, change has come in. Their number 19, Owen Kavna, is starting as well. So we'll we'll see how that one pans out there just in a few minutes. He seems to be slotting in a wing back, is what we've been told. I'd be doubtful about that myself. I think that could be fake news. <laughs> we'll, we'll see in a couple of minutes what happens. It looks like you've John Cadden in there in the corner as well. Yeah, um, yeah. John Ware and Aheen. Look, uh, uh, you know, we, we all know the value of free takers no more than yourself, Frank, Absolutely. at this stage of the game. A day like today, John has been you know, a stellar free taker down the years for, for Karen Yu. He's, his accuracy from the dead ball has won us many a battle, and I'm sure today it'll be no different. If he's on song, we'll be right there. Well, absolutely, that's exactly it. No, Freeze will play a big part, and John is as good a free taker as there is in the county, certainly intermediate level anyway. No, he's, um, he, he's absolutely solid in the Freeze now. It's a pleasure to watch him, to be honest with you. So I'm looking forward to looking at him now in the corner there, and uh, any few frees that they get inside the 45, I expect them to be, to be over the post, really. Yeah, as we said, Hollywood just putting the finishing touches with the last day here. Hollywood, you know, had, had a couple of great performances the last day. i seen them playing. You know, Harry Wilson was back at full back. He's you know, a real solid unit. You know, Harry Holan makes searing runs up the field there. Yeah. He, he, the goal against Carnew the last day, he was instrumental. You have PJ O'Keefe there. You know, the Tyrrells, the Burks, you know, all the names are there. <laughs> all the names are there still with this Hollywood outfit. They're coming back again. That's right. They're all back again. That's it. And when you look at the the program here. You look at the names there. You're looking at Burks and Tyrrells and God, they haven't the Carney as well. They haven't uh, they haven't gone away. So look at there's a new generation of foot in, in Hollywood. And they attack. They attack in waves. And they did that against us as well. They attack in waves. And they attack very quickly. It'll be interesting to see if they be allowed to that. Um, 
uh, today but they attacked very quickly from defence and it'd be interesting to see how that tactic works out today but they are they're, they're serious pace going forward and um, yeah it'd be interesting to see on the wet pitch and inside the heavy L ground what that would be like today now but I would definitely be looking out that, looking at that for a tactic on Hollywood's part today. Yeah, both teams just in their huddles. It looks like we'll be playing as is at the minute. I didn't see who won the toss, but both teams have stayed in their respective ends. If that was the case, Karen, you would kick with the wind in that first half. It's a very slight breeze. The flags are very low here. Uh, it's not nothing like what we experienced earlier in the day in Barton last where or in Ockram where Barton last were victorious against St. Pat's on a scoreline of 2-8 to 1-10. Looks like we're going to have... Uh, Minute silence as well, so referee Noel Kinsley will give due respect to the minute silence. There we are, yeah. It looks as Carmack Doyle goes up to the goal at the at the dressing room end here. Can you will play down into the hospital goal here in this first half. The teams are just about to line out here. We're getting ready to rock and roll. In about an hour and ten or fifteen minutes time we'll know the first of our Darcy Sands Intermediate Football Championship finalists. Good <laughs> If Owen Kavanagh does start, he's gone in a wing forward where number 19, John Kavanagh, is uh, there with 18. We'll tell you who doesn't start then. Referee Noel Kinsler calls for a ball here. Gets one. It's Owen Young doesn't start. Owen Kavanagh is in instead of him, so a couple of changes. Hollywood seem to be sticking to the programme. The ball is in and the game is on at the start of this intermediate football semi-final. It's Caelan Burke is the first one on the or it's Keen Tyrrell is the first man on the ball for Hollywood. He pops the ball off back here to his wing back, Connor Burke. Burke recycles it across the middle into Michael Healy. Healy wearing number six instrumental at centre back all year. Healy is back in possession again, pops a little ball inside to his uh, centre forward PJ O'Keefe. O'Keefe in a little bit of space, gives a good low ball in inside. Dangerous looking ball into Stephen Carney. Carney twists and turns, pops the ball off here. As far as Robert Kelly, Kelly tries to tread the ball inside. There's a good hand inside there by Michael Rock and was still won by the, the Hollywood men, the number 13. Ben O'Keefe finds a little pass inside. It's dangerous, there's a chance here for Hollywood. Early in the game, he twists, he turns, but he's blown for over, carrying by Noel Kinsley. Good defending, but it was a 50-50 call, I'd say. It was 50-50, but I heard the whistle. I was looking for the arms out stretch for the penalty as well but now free out and well defended by Kanye well defend as Michael Rock brings the ball away he gives it to Justin House who breaks the tackle he gives it to Parik Doran back to Michael Rock over on this dressing room side here it's into the hands of Adrian Myers Myers wearing number six pops the ball off as far as Connor Wafer Wafer finds Owen Kavanagh with the ball the number 19 came up the field his man interestingly Luca Harney just dropped back he tried to pick a pass there but it was blocked down by John Dean Burke Burke does well to try and evade the tackle of uh, a cabinet there, he's pulled back by Kavanagh though, and it's a uh, free into Hollywood. Just a little bit of nerves on both sides there, a couple of little missed passes and stuff going astray. Take a few minutes for this one to settle down. Yeah, it will do, Emmett. Uh, slow enough, both teams slow enough coming out with it now, and that slow enough there didn't pay off, or that pace didn't huge pay off, or can you? Huge kick inside as the ball is broken away by Conor Wafer out as far as uh, Thomas Collins. Collins goes down on the ball, wins, he's free, he has a look up, and again. As you said there, Frank, there's not an awful lot of urgency early doors here. Both teams 
just trying to feel their way into it. Collins looking to take a free here. He's looking for an option. Eventually he gets one from Paul Noll and gives it back to Collins. Collins right over on the stand side. Inside his own 45. Gives the ball back to Connor Wafer. Wafer tries to burst his way out with the ball. Under pressure. Huge numbers around the ball. And he's blown for over carrying there. So the ref is consistent on that one. In fairness to him, he blew inside for over carrying and he's got, he's sticking to his guns. He is, yeah. Uh, big kick here now. He must be 35. Oh, he's, he's, he's been brought been in. He's been brought in nine against the sun now. Stephen Carney should be kicking this in fairness. He's on a 21 yards, about uh, 10 yards off centre. Yeah, so whatever was said or whatever was done there, it's made a, a, a slightly difficult free, a lot easier. So it's right in, in front of the post. It'll be Stephen Carney to kick this one. He lines it up. Just inside the 21, pretty much straight in front of the goal. It's high and it's over the bar and Hollywood lead here after just three minutes on the clock. It's a point to no score. Carl McDowell sets up the ball. He looks for a quick kick out. Didn't happen, so it's coming to this side, I'd say. Carl, <laughs> everyone seems yeah. to be over here under this ball. It's high, it's down on top of John Dyle. Breaks in, Barry Doran, Doran way. Had he found the ball in Thorn Kavna. Kavna, long, look, dangerous looking ball in in front of Conor McRae. McRae twists, turns, pops a little ball back off into Doran. Doran, look to be foul. Play OS is the referee. Good defence by Hollywood. Again, Conor McRae wins the ball and goes to ground and gets his free at the second attempt. I thought possibly the free was earlier, but he the softer one was given the second <laughs> yeah. time. It absolutely was indeed. But um, Hollywood pushing very high up, and to be honest with you, they'll win plenty of ball, but they'll be exposed to the back just like there. One kick pass in, left the one on one at McRae inside. Yeah, and look at it, as you said, was Hugh, everyone around the middle third was here right in front of us for that kick out. It was right. only going one place, but once it broke in over everyone's it's head, there was, it's a dangerous game. There we are, it's high, it's over the bar. John Kavanagh dispatches that one over the bar. We're in number 18 there and it's a pint apiece here in bottom last now. Four minutes on the clock. Keeper Colin Tuhi will get ready to kick this one out. Tuhi sizes up his options. A little bit more of a spread for the Hollywood kick out here as they... Look to try and win possession and get the ball back up the field. A huge kick down the field, down on top of Robert Holland. Holand looked to have it, but just broke from his grasp. Two car new men in on the tackle there. One of them is uh, Paddy McGing. McGing does really well. Ball breaks out down. It comes as far as uh, Keane Tyrrell. Again, it's turned over and into the hands of Jack Doyle. Again, it's one-on-one -on -one inside. Colin McRae gets out in front, goes down low, touches the ball to himself and picks it up, recycles it back to John Kavanagh. Kavanagh has the opportunity to maybe look at a score. Paddy McGing to have out as well, but huge numbers back there from Hollywood. They're blocking off the path. Colin McRae is in possession about 40 yards out from the goal. Gives it back to Justin House, into John Kavanagh. Kavanagh will have a go from there. He will have a go, but it's pulling to the left of the post and wide. And Hollywood will be happy enough to keep Carnew shooting from that sort of range, even with the likes of John Kavanagh there. They will, yeah. As a fine strike, John now has pulled wide, but um, yeah, I want to be careful inside now that they don't leave these two boys exposed inside but they're pushing it well one thing I want to uh, focus on is how good the field will be from Hollywood I think they're very strong in the air they have some big men they've good pairs of hands on them kick out again will be from Colin Tuhi Tuhi again a huge kick wide up to the middle of the field but underneath is Parry Doran a clash of bodies there and the break favours the centre back Michael Healy quick ball in inside good hand in from Michael Rock there on Ben O'Keefe oh, O'Keefe does well to get the signal breaks away and on Kavanagh comes away with the ball it's a loose hand pass though into the hands of Robert Kelly there's a man in space here now and it's popped inside in as far as the number 11 is PJ O'Keefe. O'Keefe twists and turns and has a look. That's a huge kick, oh. but it's a well taken under his crossbar there by Carmack Dyle. And it's out as far as John Dyle. Dyle pops the ball off to Paul Nolan. It's a loose pass, though. Breaks out as far as uh, Connor Burke. Gives the ball in it to his carnivore, John T. And Burke, it's recycled back out here as far as Caelan Burke. Burke swings a boo head. That's dangerous. A touch there by the full forward, Stephen Kearney. The ball is in the back of the net. Uh, full back and goalie in no man's land. A good touch got on it there and it ends up in the back of the net. The two umpires are having a look here. I no, say it was a great shot and goal there by Caelan Burke but uh, worked out and very clever by Stephen Carney. That's a serious finish if that's allowed. Very clever. Sees the man, the keeper coming out and just flicks it past him. There is a bit of a chat going on in here with the umpire. He didn't raise the flag just yet. It's no goal. It's given a free out. That's a huge decision. I didn't see a lot wrong with that, Frank. My car knew hat will be happy enough that it's disallowed. <laughs> but if I had a Hollywood hat on, I wouldn't be happy. I thought it was a good finish. Very, great finish. Very disappointed, I'd say, from a Hollywood point of view. 
didn't look to be in the box. I'm not too sure. Would have been in there before the ball comes in. I know it happened for Kilcar last week in the senior championship in Donegal. An interesting one. Yeah. Harsh. Yeah, it's a harsh one. It looks like Carnew tried to work the ball out. Paul Nolan has it under lots of pressure from the Hollywood men again. Adrian Myers tries to get rid of it. It's that man, Caelan Burke, does good work trying to win it back. Stephen Carney picks it up. It's back in the hands of Michael Healy. Hollywood have their tails up now. They're after being stung by that disallowed goal there after just about six and a half minutes of this half. It's in the hands of PJ O'Keefe. O'Keefe has a look at his options, fires the ball out as far as Robert Kelly. Kelly looks in outside of the boot. That long diagonal ball is dangerous looking. It's in again to Stephen Kearney Kearney gets his head up pops a pass all the way back out as far as uh, Connor Burke here he's about 35 yards out he looks up again comes back to Michael Healy Healy is being instrumental so far he always seems to be loose and he's pulling the strings there it's into the hands of Robert Kelly he goes long high dangerous looking ball in and it's shepherded wide by the Kearney keeper Carl McDowell there and that's two good passages of play that Hollywood haven't got anything out of. They're winning a lot of ball in the middle of the field. They're doing very well in the middle of the field, but they're kicking from too far out on a wet day like this, or a wet ground like this. It's, it's too far out, and they've dropped too short now in a row. So they want to shore that one up, Emmett. Yeah, and look at the huge pressure on the Carnew backs coming out with the ball as well, to be fair to them. They're really putting them under pressure, not letting them get any purchase on the ball. The kick out's taken quickly into Parik Door, and Owen Kavanagh picks it up at the second line. Loose ball there from Kavanagh. It uh, only falls into the Hollywood man. It's a loose pass from him. John Tien Burke just kicked that one into the grateful arms of uh, Michael Rock as Parik Dorn comes out with this one. Gives. Looked like he was going to give it to Paul Nolan. Doesn't solos forward the ball. Takes it into contact. Gives it to Jack Dial. Dial gives it to John Dial. Long searching ball inside, but well read in there by the Hollywood backs. It's well done by Harry Holan. He comes out with the ball and he's gone on his bike away up the field. He done it the last day and they set up a goal. He gives the ball this time to John Tienberg. He pops a pass off to Keane Terrell here. Hollywood owning the ball here at the minute. Carnew struggling to get out of their half. Michael Healy has the ball again. Looks for that direct ball into Stephen Carney. It is in there. It's Carney on the ball. Solos has a look. Connor Wafer tries to get out to him. Drags him to the ground. The free in. And Carnew are just struggling to get to the pitch of this game here. They are. Hollywood leaving one man inside now. That man's working hard. Stephen Carney, number 14. But he'll have to keep working hard because it's very easy to snuff that out. Yeah, but to be fair, they're leaving one man in. Carnew have numbers back, but they're still finding him. They're working the ball really well to him. No, they've obviously something they've been working on. Six, eight and nine for Hollywood are po popping them balls in all day to, to the full forward. So it'll be interesting to see how long that plays out. Stephen Carney is ignoring the run of Conor Burke there. He made a run forward. He's going to take his chance with this one. It's still a point apiece here in Barton Glass in the first of our inter Darcy Sands Intermediate Football Championship semi-finals. Carney kicks this one, look to get good Perkins, taken well by Cormac Dyle under his crossbar again and 10 minutes on, we're still level here, it's a hand pass out, out to as far as Tommy Collins, Tommy Collins just gets to it first, comes off his boots, a line ball for Hollywood. Having a look around at his options, he pops it. Look to pop a pass into Conor Burke. There's a hand on it though by Paul Nolan, can you? In possession deep in their own full back lane, Nolan wins the free. Can you now look for an outlet? They've been working the ball to about 40 yards out, but they've been snuffed out by the yeah. pressure of the Hollywood tackling. They have, they have indeed. Look at Hollywood playing the better football to minute, but I'd say can you are the happier. Happier, they're still level. Look, it's been all Hollywood up to this point of this low goal and a couple of missed chances. So, you know, to be level at this stage, it, probably mm -hmm. happy enough. The ball is back in the hands of the Hollywood men. They're 21 yards out. It's popped off here. Out as far as uh, John T. and Burke. He fires this one in again. Oh, Cormac Dyle just does enough and a flying tackle in there looking to get a touch on it, but does enough to get the ball away to the hands of Justin House. House looks to break down the line, has a look up, kicks it long. Direct ball in as far as John Camden. There's a hand on it there from Harry Wilson. Knocks it away into Keane Hill and takes the return. Good hands there from the Hollywood men as they get through. There's a high tackle then on Robert Holohan. Uh, a high tackle, a lazy tackle almost from John Dyle. And Just to be, you know, that, that's four in a row now, Hollywood has dropped short, straight into the keeper's hands. It's, uh, it's an awful thing for a, a, a team to have to watch. It's four in a row now. It's, um, Hollywood will be disappointed to be only on the one point, Emmett. Yeah, look, it's it's you said because they're completely in charge of this game at the minute. Connor Burke gets the ball, gives it to PJ Keith, takes the return, has a look. Oh, and a loose hand pass there of all the places he could have put. He handed it straight to Connor Wafer. Wafer comes out, gives the ball to Parik Dorn. Dorn tries to break the tackle, does break the tackle at the second attempt. And he hadn't hands the ball in as far as Jack Dyle. Dyle has been quiet up to now. Fires the ball into Connell McRae. Oh, great defending there by Shane Kelly out in front, got his hand on it, gets it to Michael Healy. 
out to right underneath to stand here. Hollywood try to build again as they recycle the ball across their own half back lines. Luca Harney gets the ball out as far as Harry Holan. Holan Solos looks up 45 yards out. Again, transfers the ball inside, but it's loose pass. There was two Hollywood men there, and it was kind of between the two. As Jack Dyle looks to get into space, he does get into space. John Cannon has gone running off, and he's inside the 21. Looks up. Has a, an option of getting the ball to John Dyle Jr. Fires a long diagonal pass across the field to the 45. Again, a little bit of a misunderstanding between two Karen Yuma. But Hohen Kavanagh takes it. Solos tries to get a bit of pace up. Has the confidence to go for a kick, but drops well short into the hands of Colin Tohey. And it's out with Michael Healy as Hollywood look to rebuild here again. And again, there's just a, the lack of finishing on both sides, Frank. Yeah. is just killing both teams at the minute. It is, and they're all dropping short. And I just wonder, is it a product of winter football that that standing foot is that bit softer? Yeah, I think it could be. You know, the ball just doesn't travel as well this time of the year either. That was well short from Karen Yeo, but Hollywood have dropped a few into the keeper's hands as they look to go along and diagonal again into Ben O'Keefe. O'Keefe 21 yards out, Connor Wafers on his case, tries to stand him up, just about does enough. Ball is into PJ O'Keefe, there's movement from these Hollywood forwards, it's causing Karen Yeo problems, it's in the hands of Robert Kelly. Kelly has a look, gets to the top of the D here, bottom last kicks it, but it's gone way off his boot to the right of the post and gone wide. And I suppose after... 13 minutes, Frank, we're still level at one all. I got us a good game of football, and that was a great flawed move by Hollywood. And a lovely dummy uh, hop, who's that by Robert Kelly? Lovely dummy hop, he couldn't finish it, but that would have been a great score if, he'd, uh, if he could have just finished that one off. Yeah, and look, <laughs> if, it was, if it was about one seven to five points here, it wouldn't do it any injustice <laughs> it at the minute, not. you know. No, but we're yeah, one right. point all, like <laughs> it, as I said, it's just the finishing has let us down. The kick out goes short to Parik Dorn, about 35 yards out from his own goal. Dorn solos forward, has a look, pops it off to John Dial. Dial looks for an option. There's not one there, there needs to be someone coming off the shoulder. He finds Paul Nolan. Nolan decides against the hand pass through traffic there, but he's carrying a hint of traffic. Finds Parik Dorn again as Carney will look to build slowly here. Again, just twists and turns with the ball. It's all very slow and lateral at the minute. Jack Dyle looks to inject a bit of pace, does inject a bit of pace. Adrian Myers goes far from his centre back, Bert has his kick at the post, kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. Can you lead two points to one here after about 14 minutes? And Football's a strange game because it's been all Hollywood. It's been all Hollywood, but that's a seriously well worked point. Three or four passes in the middle of the pitch, maybe in their own half, and that's a serious strike. Who's at the centre back? Adrian, Adrian Myers. Myers. Ah, that's a great strike from 45 yards out, struck, uh, spit the post. Yeah, got up the field and kicked his score, a really good score there from Myers. It's, as we said, two points to Cairn, you one. We're getting near the first water break. Colin Tohey drills a long ball down the field, breaks in the middle of the field, is handed down to Conor Burke. That's a set piece. Have I ever seen him? Probably PJ O'Keefe is out in front of Myers this time. Uh, Robert Holohan breaks the tackle. Holohan has a chance here, and Holohan kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. A huge score there from Robert. A really well worked kick out. Brilliant, absolutely. But they're very good in the middle of the park. That was broken down, lovely. One pass, breaks the tackle. That's as good a score as you'll see now in the club championship. And that's not doing it any uh, overpraising it. That's a great score now. Two points apiece here. Just about 15 minutes on the clock here in Barton Glass. It's a, it's a tit for tat game of football here. It's going to come down to fine margins. Carmack Dyle goes long, huge kick to the middle of the field again, back under it there was uh, John Dyle Jr. breaks off a Hollywood face down, Kavanagh goes down on the ball, picks it up, has a look around at his options, pops it into John Dyle Jr. Uh, Dyle now has a look, gives it back out to Paddy McGinn, he gives it to Parik Dorn, Dorn in the middle of the field, has a look up, he now wants, he's urging him someone to come off his shoulder to run, he has to do it himself, he breaks past one player, and fires the ball down into John Kavanagh in the corner, Kavanagh picks up the ball, the veteran now at this stage on this team, Kevin has a look, throws his arm across, pops the ball off to Myers, Myers has gone forward here again, he looks up, tries to find a little pass inside, he only finds Michael Healy though, Healy back right where he should be, he does really well, gets the pass off here as Karen, you look to try and win the ball back, but it's a long ball in from the Hollywood man up the field, it's one on one up here, and that one is Ben O'Keefe out in front of his man, does well, fires a dangerous ball into Stephen Carney, Carney out in front, doesn't take it at the first attempt, knocks it into to his own path on, has a look at the post, it's dangerous, it's hanging in the air, keeper comes out, Carl McTide, ball breaks to the ground, there's bodies everywhere, but it's a free in, a free in for Hollywood, so. This could be a card here, there's a strange tackle went in there and Stephen Carney, no, he might have got away with it and that's fair enough. I'd be impressed with the Hollywood hand and, and uh, you know, end of October here, uh, in the air or on the ground, their handling's very good, it's, a, it's something they've definitely worked on anyway. Stephen Carney has the chance to put Hollywood in front here. 16 and a half minutes on the clock. Kearney 
Should be a straightforward kick for him. A player of his expertise. Just lobs it high and lobs it over the bar. He struck it well. It's three points to Hollywood, two to Carnew. I'd say we're bearing down on the first water break here. Water break, says Noel Kinsley. Yeah, an, an interesting first 15 minutes. You know, as I said, Hollywood could almost be out the gap here if, if they'd have taken what chances. They've been really good. They've been all over Carnew for the most part, but there's still, still only a one-point game. Yeah, I mean, they should, they should have one three on the board there on top of their two, they, or on top of their three points. It should be one six to two, really. But, um, you know, Carnew, they won't be upset going into this water break, a point down, and they play a good long game to do. They play uh, a lot of kicking from the midfield in. It's great to see. Two different styles, contrasting styles, but I'd watch number five for Hollywood. He's involved, number Connor Burke, he's involved in a lot of play. He's as busy as, as busy as a bee there, but um, he's puffing already. It'd be interesting to see to keep that up, but uh, he is an instrumental player for them. Yeah, even that last score, we the score from play, we suggested that he made the run off the midfielder yeah. to tap it down to him. Yeah. You know, it was a well worked score. It was, it was really, you know, on the flip side of that, I suppose, Karen, you have had maybe three chances. They've got two scores. They have. You yeah, know, yeah. a little bit more economical, but That's you won't right. get. You know, the, the amount of possession Karen you are having and where they're having it is the issue. They're not getting out their own half back line really quick enough to mm. pose a threat down the field. You, you'd imagine, though, no, it is. The pace coming out of the back is, isn't as, uh, as good as maybe it could be. But you have two experienced men inside, McRae and Cabin, and they'll be patient. And they're happy enough, I'd say, with their two points returned to minute. And they'll notice plenty more scores available. Yeah, Noel Kinsta just gets us ready. It'll be a kick out from Carmack Dial to restart this second quarter of the first half. The sun drops here on an October Saturday evening. As ever here in Barton Glass, everything is immaculately, imma immaculately laid out for us. Carmack Doyle takes the kick, goes long down the middle, straight down the middle. Jack Doyle's on a oh, huge take from Jack Doyle, a brilliant take from Doyle. Goes direct, kicks the ball into Conal McRae. McRae looked to be out in front there. The ball just beats him. Shane Kelly does well to get back. McRae tries to huddle him down into the corner, pushes him in the back though. It'll be a free. A free and Kelly takes it quick. There's no mess and he's up. He gives the ball to Harry Wilson. Wilson looks to get up the field with the ball. And with Hollywood, he pops the ball off to Cale and Burke. Burke back into Wilson. Wilson back to Burke, it's tight, it's messy and it's turned over there. Ball is into Jack John Dyle from Jack Dyle. Looked like he might touch it on the ground. Play on, says no against it. Jack Dyle gets his head up. There's a man free there, it's Paddy McGing. McGing has a look, cuts through a tackle of two players, tries to get a hand pass off, doesn't. But it's well gobbled up again by that man, Connor Burke. Good left boo on him and fires the ball up the field to PJ O'Keefe. But it's well done by... Uh, Adrian Myers to cut that one out, gets the ball to Paul, Paul Nolan, back into Myers, Myers solos up, again he needs an option, he needs a runner, that runner is Jack Dyle, it's cleared, uh, Michael Healy and Jack Dyle in over their heads, there's no one home, only Harry Wilson, Wilson goes back and sweeps up, picks it up at the second attempt, good play there by Wilson, well read, has a look around but the blue jersey start to swarm around and Michael Healy gets the ball, he pops it off, here's far as Harry Hull and Connor Burke is on the ball again, into Shane Kelly, good play from Kelly, bursting out from his uh, cornerback position as Hollywood come raiding up the field again and it's Robert Houlihan on the ball, it's not Robert Houlihan, it's John T and Burke on the ball, a good tackle there from Owen Kavanagh, tries to dispossess him twice, three times, as Burke is strong though, gets away from John Dyle and he breaks another tackle there, good play from John T and Burke, into the hands of PJ O'Keefe, O'Keefe goes long and diagonal looking for Stephen Kearney but Paul Nolan was alert to that does well and pops the ball off to Michael Rock Rock solos out here has a look up and gives the ball to Connor Wafer Wafer takes the ball through the first tackle but he's turned over huge intensity from both sides here Wafer does well to get the ball back he's dumped to the ground he looks like he took a knock but he's blown for over carrying and there's no quarter asked or given in here Looked like Conor Wafer might have got a free there, but there's two players down on the ground here now, however, it's after happening. Uh, it's really after it come to life there in the last play there. Um, Hollywood broken down on the way out. Carnew broken down on the way back in, and then Hollywood for the last minute with the ball, and it really, it's really come to life here. Two players on the ground. I'm not sure who the Hollywood player is. I think it's Conor Wafer from Carnew who was involved in that. And it's interesting coming out that ball. Hollywood got broken down with a ball, hand pass over the head, and the very same with Karen New, 30 seconds later, hand pass over the head. It's not a, it's not a pass that works. It's not a no, pass that works too often. And it's not a pass you want either, Frank. It's not a pass you want either, no, no, no. No, the three Karen New lads coming at you. Yeah, yeah, or, or, or three Hollywood lads for that matter. You're kind of wondering that the lad that gave it, does he like it, <laughs> <Yeah. Cal? laughs> So, look, everyone's up. 
and good. It's, it was Ben O'Keefe was down injured there for Hollywood as well. Everyone up, everyone seems to be good. Lots of space inside to say it's a free in from the 45. Karen, you haven't got their numbers back, but Holly will go all the way back in as far as Mikey Healy. Healy solos and gets the ball off. He was in the hands of Conor Burke. That man Burke is handling a lot of ball in this game. He pops it off to Harry Houlihan. Houlihan goes all the way across as far as Keane. Tyrrell, Tyrrell pops it back to Michael Healy. And Hollywood just keeping possession now, trying to run the legs out of Karen, you a little bit as we approach the 22nd minute of this one. That's including the water break. There's lots of time in this half still as uh, Keane Tyrrell is on the ball. He gets it back as far as Harry Holan. Holan pops the ball off. Hollywood have owned this ball really in the first half to say they're only a point up. It's probably doing them an injustice. Robert Kelly takes a big hit. It's into the hands of Luca Harney. Harney goes up the field. It's a free. He kicked the ball wide on the run, but it is a free. It was an advantage. There was a close fist. Tackle came in there. No, it was a great run by Luca Harney because they were very slow and, uh, and pedestrian there around the middle. Yeah. I was wondering whether they had the any purpose at all, but Harney came off the shoulder there and broke the tackle. That was a, a clever run by him. Or otherwise, I thought Hollywood were under, uh, in trouble. And you have two on two inside, and I wouldn't like to be marking one on one against John Cavan and McRae in there. You know, so they Hollywood are playing a little bit of a dangerous game, even though you, they might find they're, they're patient. And yeah, can you? Cairn News don't seem to be playing the same free-flowing football. They were. They're not being led, to be fair, to Hollywood. They're not They're not getting the run from the back. Hollywood have been very good. They've faced them up at Stephen Kearney. He is about 27 or 8 yards out here. He'll fancy this one. It's in front of the post. He kicks it well. He strikes it well. It's high and it's over the bar. And Hollywood lead by two here. It's four points to two. We've 23 and a half minutes on the clock. Plus Hollywood... If they keep doing what they're doing, Frank, they're going to get enough chances to win this. Karen, you need to change something, I think. Yeah, yeah, it could be. It's, it's only two points in it now at the same time, and you have plenty of uh, game time left. But yeah, Hollywood are, are full value for four points too, in fairness. Huge kick to the middle of the field. There's hands on it there from Justin House. Breaks into John Doyle Jr. He pops the ball off to Paddy McGing. McGing brings the ball back into traffic but finds space. Jack Doyle is on the ball. Doyle pops it off here as far as on Kevin. A little one too. And as Jack Doyle comes raiding down the field again. He gets in as far as the 21 does really well. Doyle talk about his shot. Comes back inside. A head, high head. Look like a high tackle. It's not a high tackle. So the referee play on. That looks like a foul. I think the first one was probably more. Very of a foul. same like it was 10 minutes ago. The first one was the foul. Patrick Dorn has done very well. He's Ball, he's free. I yeah, think the Jack yeah. Doyle was the foul, but can you were free right in front right of the post? Right in front post. of the post now, right in front of him. So this but again, there was a little straight. bit more urgency to that attack, a bit more pace about it. There was, yeah. Look at I me, mean, you have that pace. I mean, you have that pace. You're, yeah, if you have the defenders running back towards your own goal, I mean, that's exactly what you want. And that's what they had Hollywood three or four hours running back towards your own goal, trying to catch Jack Doyle there. And um, yeah, there you go. John four Kavner. points to three. Four points to three. John Kavanagh registers a score here. Is a, a muted clap from the stand at the far side. 24 and a half minutes gone here. Colin Tuhi will take this kick. Again, he has a good look. Hollywood well spread out over the field. Karen Hughes' kick out seem to be going to a more bunched area. Trying to win through numbers, but... Hollywood are making their moves and making their runs now. Another huge kick from Tohi. Numbers underneath. John Doyle takes it, just breaks at the last second. It's one back there by Paul Nolan. He goes to ground. It's tough. It's hard stuff in there from both sides. But can you come away with the ball? And it's into the hands of Parry Dorn. Dorn gets the ball out as far as Paddy McGing. McGing looks up, pops it back to Dorn. As can you look to try and get another score here to maybe level things up? Conal McRae has drifted away out from the goal. Solos with the ball, pops a pass inside. It's an awkward looking one. There's too many green jerseys there. They've snuffed it out. Good defence there from the Hollywood men. Ball is into the hands of uh, Shane Kelly. He has a runner outside him as Luca Harney. Harney wearing number seven, has a look up. Solos has another look up. Looking for a runner inside. There's only one run, is there? It is, and it's uh, that man Ben. O'Keefe, O'Keefe is out in front, turns all oh, good turn there by O'Keefe, has a look thinks about shooting but comes back inside numbers there from Carnew, looked like O'Keefe was fouled to be honest, looked like he got the leg taken from under him, referee Noel Kinsa taking no messing here today he's given a free out for over Carnew Carnew have took it and it's in the hands of Parry Thorn. he gave it to John Dyle, took it back into the hands of Jack Dyle, Dyle looks up Tommy Collins uh, takes the ball from him and gives it back 
Karen you look to regroup and try and uh, manufacture a score, long kick down, looking for John Kavanagh. Kavanagh try, gets out in front of Harry Wilson. A good battle between these two, two big physical units. Kavanagh picks up the ball, he needs help, does. Wilson gets his tackle in. Good play from Kavanagh, gets the ball off as far as Justin House. House steps inside one tackle, pops it into Adrian Myers. Myers will have another go, Willie kicks this one, but this one has gone to the left of the post and wide. And I just, you know, just wondering with Karen Hughes' game plan as well, you know, kicking balls to the corner for John Kavanagh like that. Probably not. What he wants anyway no, at this stage of his career. Five, a couple minutes ago, he had the diagonal ball on it from McCray to see him. That's where he wants it in around, the diagonal ball in around the 21-yard line. But no, not out to the corner where he has another 50 yards and, to go. And Harry Wilson on his case. Strong man. A strong man trying to get around the kick-out. has gone short to John Tien Burke. He is tackled by uh, John Dyle Jr. Can you get numbers around the ball? They seem to have turned it over. Jack Dyle has turned it over. He is dragged to the ground here. He is dragged to the ground. He was getting an advantage. And can you have a free in and... There's a little bit of excitement, more excitement around the field on both sides now. There's yeah, yeah, that's that's twice now. Noel could have taken out the black card. Not that I want to see it now, mm. but uh, potentially, you know, it's been called over. Who's that? John Teen Burke. Will he get away with this or not? Yeah, it's going to be a big decision. And I know it was brought in for a reason, but I'm more of a fan of the yellow myself. I think the <laughs> black card is a bit for the likes of that. I, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's not. It's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's a yellow card. It's not for outside. It's not for out in the middle. No, of the pitch. no, you it's know what I mean. You know. Directly in goal, maybe. Yeah, fair enough. But out there, no, I don't want to say it. In the middle of October, no, the end of no, October. Absolutely, so. yeah. Team, it's a big kick. John Gavin is forty-five yards out. He's about ten or eleven yards in from the stand side sideline. He drills this one across. He's not gone away. He never really caught it. And the forwards inside weren't expecting the heater, as far as I know. It's, as I said, it's four points to three here with 28 minutes on the clock, including the water break. It's a bit of a war of attrition between these two. Very entertaining game, Emmett. Very entertaining game. They're two different styles, and I tell you, there's going to be 30 tired men there at half time. Um, it's a great battle here now. Four points to three doesn't do it justice. Colin Tuhi takes the kick out, comes right out underneath us here, where we're situated. A good hand in from Justin House. Ball players go to the ground. It's a line ball, and it's. He gives a line ball to Karen Yeo, which I thought was, a, was Justin probably knocked it out from this from where we were and it was fairly close to us. He gives it to John Cavanagh up. Away come Karen Yeo with the ball. It's back into the hands of Justin House. House pops a little pass into John Cavanagh. Cavanagh finds a pocket of space for once away from Harry Wilson into Paddy McGing. McGing goes down on the ball, but good play again by Shane Kelly. He's a sticky, tough marking player to Shane Kelly. He's doing really well in there. Gets the ball up to PJ O'Keefe. O'Keefe gets the ball back to Kelly. Kelly picks the ball off the ground. He's on. He was blown there. Referee Noel Kinson moves it up, says take it from there. And Karen, you have numbers at the far side if they move a quick but it's Parik Doran gets the ball into John Kavanagh. Kavanagh comes back what looked like into traffic. Demanding the ball is Jack Dyle off and gets it now. He wants to make a run. Dyle has a look up. Gives the ball to Conal McRae. No, he doesn't. There's uh, lads shouting at lads to get into positions all over the field on both sides here but Jack Dial 45 yards out gets the ball comes all the way across the field to Justin House with House wearing number 10 but playing a wing back sizes up his marker Luca Harney and has a look gets the ball into John Dial Dial pops the ball back across to Jack Dial Dial is starting to demand getting on the ball a little bit more now has a look up picks a little pass into on Kavanagh good pass it is Kavanagh turns kick this one high and kicks it over the bar a really well worked score there from Karen Yew. they were patient it looked possibly like they were being too patient That's but they worked exactly it into it. the scoring area and it's a level game it's a great finish a great finish but Jack Doyle's after getting on about four balls there in the last 30 seconds and he really orchestrated that one now fair play to him that was a lovely bit of playing who finished that? Owen Kavanagh yeah that was a great finish yeah. on the left good finish he, he left for the player? Yeah. He is, yeah, that was a good finish. He took it really well. It was a great kick. And it's a level game here. We're none the wiser. As from when we started, level pegging. Colin Tuhi kicks this one. Huge kick out in the middle of the field. He finds a man in space. Though, and that man is Robert Holand. Holand doesn't take his mark. He's tackled by Conal McRae. Again, tough tackling in on both sides. With Conor Burke picks up the ball, gets it. Long, high, dangerous looking ball in on top of the backs. There's a fist in there from Adrian Myers. He does enough, and Myers takes the return off Justin House into the hands of Jack Dyle again. Dyle is starting to uh, become more instrumental in this game now. He kicks a long ball down in front of uh, Conor McRae. McRae has Conor Burke on his case. McRae has a look up, gets the ball to John Dyle, gets it back from John Dyle, cuts inside, tries to break the tackle of Caelan Burke. He doesn't get in there too easy. To, 
Plunk it down he looked like in the middle of the field, gets the ball off. It's, it was an advantage, but Karen, you have played away the advantage. A long ball in across the far John Dyle Jr. He gives it back to Jack Dyle. Dyle now in a bit of space. Gets it and pops a pass in. It's a loop and pass in as far as Justin House. House does two men on his case and wins. He's free. And it's a free in. And referee referee no, yeah, from what's been going yeah. on, like it's been yeah. a great game. And, it just, but there was know. a mark on there to be taken and it was the same few minutes ago John Cavan had a, uh, an opportunity to pop a mark just in t- for it to be uh, yeah. caught in front of goals I wonder our teams take advantage of it but there's a bit of Carnew cuteness now a bit of Kerry cute horrorism as they say um, <laughs> and I think Ollie Willer ruined that one forward that they missed there in the first 10 minutes Yeah it's looking that way now if this goes over especially it, this is a huge kick now just on, on the edge of half time where normal time is up we're into added time by the looks of this John Dyle Jr he's about 30 yards out here, he's just kicking from about four or five yards to the right of the post as we look into it. Swings that left bow on this one. The crowd in the stand, I'll tell you, it's a big score and it's a huge score for Carnew because they've been under the pump for probably 22 or three minutes of this half and, and you know, to, to, to eke out a points lead at this stage is actually... It's Hollywood, been good work. Hollywood play a very high octane brand of football, and you know if it works, it's, it they could blow you away. But I'd say it could be begin to tire, and you know this kind of attrition here now suits can you? That's a lovely score. That's a serious free. Thirty two and a half minutes on my clock. That's including the water break. The break again is Carney was on its own cabinet on the ball right in front of the Hollywood dugout. Slips inside two men. Was he foul? No, as the referee play on, and okay. just half time as John Dyle Jr. lined up to take a kick. And it's gone to the left and wide anyway, but with half time whistle is gone here. A really hugely entertaining first half, as I said. Karen, you probably under the pump for three quarters of that at least, first half, you know, but they've come away leading by a point here. And, you know, Hollywood we are going to rue those chances by the looks of things. Absolutely going to rue it, Emmett. And, uh, you know, I think Karen, you are a good value for their point game. They played the clever, the more smart football. They haven't had as much of the possession, but they've done much better with their possession. And they've a couple of serious finishes there over on that far side. That free there, that last one, must be about 40 yards out as the crow flies. And, you know, to curl that over on damp uh, underfoot there, that was a serious score. So, look at Karen, you are full value for the one point. But I tell you, if Hollywood get another purple patch again and they have those opportunities for one three in the second half, It'll be make a great game, but but it's been a great first half. Yeah, a great first half here. We're looking forward to a great second half. We're going to take a little break here. We'll be back with you shortly. Don't go anywhere because there's a cracking game in store here. GAA. We all belong here, in this place, at this time. We belong not because of who we are or where we come from. Being here means belonging. Belonging means knowing you're part of a community. A community that has a place for all. Where potential is nurtured. Where individuals become teams. We honour the legacy of those who went before and strive to build a legacy of their own. Some of us play. Some of us used to play, some of us never played. We all belong. Belonging means having a voice, means being able to say what you think is right. Being listened to. Belonging means respecting each other, means being there for each other, on the pitch, off the pitch. Belonging means rolling our sleeves up and doing what needs to be done. We all belong, whether it's our first day or our hundredth year. We all belong here because this place belongs to us all. Our GAA, where we all belong.
It's a long drive to Croker from here. In ways even longer for the fans. The effort, I can tell you, it's worth it. Even today, I can still hear it. The roar of the hill. It's gonna be something else.
You're very welcome back to Barton. That's here for the second half of this Darcy Sands Intermediate Football Championship semi-final. It's been a cracking first half here. Can you lead five points to four over Hollywood? Hollywood be probably a little bit aggrieved to be a point down. Played most of the football in that first half. As anyone that was tuned in, you know, we we were alluding to just before half time. It's a a real war of attrition. This one it has been. This is their third time playing one another this year. At first game, unfortunately called off due to a head injury but the second one was a cracking game which Hollywood won by a point and this one is going pretty much to the same it's not high scoring but it's good fair on both sides linesman Ned Dial is just laying down the law here to a water carrier there's no problem with him in the first half carrying water there is this half seemingly whatever's going on but we'll get ready to rock and roll just talking at half time there as well when Jack Doyle came into that game for Karen Hugh Frankie it made a huge difference he did yeah maybe he wasn't let in for the first 15 Emmett, but no he's a fine footballer and he's uh, orchestrated the last few scores he's on the ball again here now ball is, uh, ball is in with Parik Doran Doran gets the ball hand pass off it's a free Adrian Myers the son now just seems to be playing a little bit of havoc the low son here in Martin as ball is kicked in but how in front is that man Shane Kelly he's been excellent in this game so far, Kelly uh, needs a little bit of support. Now Harry Wilson comes across and for Karen Ewan, huge numbers, but Wilson just swats him away and gets the ball down the field, gives it into Keane Terrell. Terrell pops the ball out here as far as Connor Burke. Burke pops it into Mikey Healy as uh, Hollywood started this second half the way they started the first in control and looking to get the ball long. Connor Burke, oh, great ball down, looking for Ben O'Keefe. O'Keefe is out in front, does really well. He's turned inside Connor away for here. The wafer gets back to tackle. Keefe does really well to stand up. Oh, blast it high and blast it over the bar. Probably could have got a free, but he gets his point out of it and it's five all here, but long diagonal ball in, direct play from Hollywood and, and a good score. Should have stuck that the net, but um, it mightn't be caught on camera, but his run from when Hollywood had the ball in the middle pitch, absolutely turned his man inside out and that run was made well before the ball came in. Great bit of forward play there, it's good to see. Carl McDowell tries to kick the ball down as far as uh, Owen Kavanagh, but it's well read by Mikey Healy. Healy gets the ball, pops it down the line here as far as Stephen Carney. Carney is out a bit deeper. He gives it in as far as Robert Kelly. There's gaps starting to appear in Carnew here now as Hollywood. This time they're not missing their scores. This time they missed them in the first half. Two in a row for Hollywood as they take the lead here. And it's pretty much how the first half started as well. Only, as I said, the difference is the scores are going over. Absolutely. And as that man, Robert Kelly, missed a, a cracking... Hollywood attack in the first half he's after sticking that one so maybe we'll see him into the game but there's purple patches for Hollywood purple patches for Carnew and now Hollywood have started brighter so it'll be interesting to see who they capitalise on it Just under two minutes gone the first two scores the second half got away at Hollywood a huge kick from Carmack Dyle breaks in the middle of the field two Hollywood men actually collide there and Tommy Collins gets on the ball Solos with tries to take it into the tackle he goes to ground there's Hollywood men a swarm all around referee blows him for over carrying it's a free to Hollywood. Again, huge intensity on the player on the ball there. Well, good tactics by Hollywood. They win their free and they kick the long ball down again. But this one is cut out by Justin House. It's not cut out. It's a bit of a wrestling match between two players off the ball. Play away. It's no against. He's not interested in it. As uh, Connor Wafer comes out with the ball, he takes a bit of a high tackle. He was kind of stooping into it. I'd say he's all right. The game will, the game will commence. There's always a bit of excitement underneath that stand over there when anything yeah, happens, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, plenty of voices over on the far side have their opinions. But Hollywood won that free there in the middle of the park, Emmett, and it's frustrating as secret football. They take five or six seconds to kick the ball. You know, the free is taken quicker, that ball's inside. Now it's been cut out by Carnew. They might as well have a slow attack. See, Same yellow, again. A yellow card there for uh, Robert Houlihan, referee, but the free was taken quickly. It's being turned over by the Hollywood men. Again, there's a tussle over there underneath the stand. No, Kinsley says it's a free to the man on the ground, the Hollywood man. He goes back to take it from where... So now Carnew has a great chance of, of um, resetting and since that free has been taken, the free or been given, the free hasn't been taken yet. There's 10 seconds of resetting for the Carnew defence. Yeah, Connor Burke is on the ball, he's right on the sideline and the, underneath the stand. The referee has gone over to talk to his linesman there on the far side. There's something going on here. He's going to throw the ball in, whatever was done or said there. 
It's a throw ball, and in that throw will be Caelan Burke and John Dyle. Both men hustle for the ball. Dyle gets a hand on it. It's a loose ball, though. Parik Doran goes in, and Hollywood look to come away with this one. They do come away. Bodies on the ground. Ben O'Keefe is on the ground. Caelan Tyrrell tackles John Dyle. But Dyle comes away with the ball. Recycle gets it to Conor McRae. McRae takes it into the tackle just behind the referee. I think the referee got himself over a bit of bother giving a free there. He couldn't quite see what was going on. It's a free to Parik Doran. Doran looks for options. One of those options is Conal McRae. McRae has drifted out away from the goal now in this second half. Pops it back to John Dyle. Dyle solos and has a look up. Pops the ball into Adrian Myers. Myers a willing runner. Just slips at a vital time. Pops the ball off to John Dyle. Dyle with that left foot. It's not going to come around enough. It goes out to the right of the post and wide. And there's a man we haven't focused enough on, Zajian Myers. He came up three times in the first half there and he's really cutting through the defence when he does come on to the ball. And he uh, set up that attack there. Tell he's a flyer when he gets going and he's making the runs at the right time as well. Yeah, look, you know, it's, it's the old style centre back. You go yeah. three or four times and you make it count, I you suppose. Count, and, yeah. and he does, in fairness to him, he really he takes a cut at the defence and he, he opens up a few avenues. It'll be Colin Tohey to take this kick out. Hollywood leading six points to five here. We've just about five minutes on the clock. A huge kick again from Tohi down right into the melting pot. Oh, brilliant, take. brilliant yeah. take by Keane Terley at Parik Dorn all over his case. Noel Kinsler has acknowledged that. He says move it up, take it from there. It's not, not quite, it's not quite the Eddie Leonard ten yards. No. <laughs> it's a little bit shorter. Robert Kelly will take this one, kicks it high up. It's hanging in the air down into that... Uh, hospital end goal, it's gone off a car new hand by the looks of it here, it's a 45 and yes the umpire is given a 45 a chance, Colin Tohey is going to come up and take this one. But as you say that a lot of the games I've watched in the last couple of weeks, because of winter football or what is, the quick free seems to be gone. Seems to be gone and, and you know you often see lads who have got the free, you know they're down, they're taking their win, they're holding on to the ball. I think clubs get a great bit of value if you know they move that ball on quicker and they look inside or they're ready to take the free but you'll see that a lot now. I, I've noticed it a lot in the last couple of weeks. Desperate slow frees coming in from the middle of the field. And you know even you know, teams playing with the wins especially they seem to take minutes out of the game by waiting. Even Absolutely. this, it's great if it goes over but uh, it's dropping in, it's dangerous, it's a high ball and John Dyle is right back there on his own line, gets it, comes out, it gives it to Michael Rock, Rock pops the ball off to Paul Nolan, it's a loose one, there's three, four green jerseys around him, he tries to get in, gets his foot to a horn, Kavanagh goes down on the ball, he loses it in possession, gets a foot to it, it's going to come out over the line, has to be, a, that is a, that's an awful... That had to be come off a Carnew foot now and it was Carnew was the next one. Yeah, yeah, well I think one man saw it the other way but the rest of us all saw it the right way, so. <laughs> oh, jeez, overruled again. He's, it's a Carnew, there's a Carnew player down injured. So, it'll be a Carnew line ball, even though I'm not sure how. Maybe the water boy was a Hollywood man. <laughs> <laughs> Physio is intending to a car new player. It's being called as a head injury. I anyway, we'll see who it is in a second. It's not Conor Wafer. It's Owen Kavanagh seems to have taken a knock there. So they're having a good look at him. Doran to take this line ball, gives it back to Michael Rock, Rock comes out with the ball, gives it back to Doran, can you look to build from the back here, deep in their own 45 as Doran solos across with this one, needs an option off the shoulder, that option is Paul Nolan, Nolan comes out, gives the ball to Conal McRae, McRae uh, 65 yards out from his own goal, gets it into Doran, he gives it out as far as Paul Nolan is, can you look to work it through the hands now, it's Adrian Myers gets up right under his own dugout there, he needs support now, Jack Dyle is on the ball, Dyle steps inside one tackle, does really well, Ham passes the ball in in front of Justin House. There's a late tackle on Jack Dyle and it'll be a free into Carnew. Probably a silly little free to give away there yeah, by oh Hollywood. Sorry. I, mean, I mean, the ball is gone. I think Hollywood was going to cut that out by possibly two Hollywood men were going to cut that out. And now with Jack Dyle on the ground and a free. But it'll be a, it's a big free. Uh, you're probably 50 yards from goal there. as the it's goal a long flies way I don't even know if the, the 
cultured boo had John Kavanagh can stretch to this yeah. one, but he'll give it a go, but look at Again, just the second half now, a couple of injuries coming in, like the pace the first half was played at, they probably couldn't stick it. No, there's, there's no there's a, way. There's a couple of little bits and pieces of injuries, it's broken play on, on both sides here now. And but that's really the nature of the game, that'll, that'll stay for another few minutes and it'll open up again when uh, the few lads off the 15 each side do tire even more. So, uh, yeah, a bit, bit, um, bit scatty at the minute, but it's to be a fair effort now if Kavanagh does this. John Kavanagh has this one, he's about... 37 or 8 yards out. Again, there's a Hollywood player down injured here. Looks to be in a bit of bother. Not sure who it is. It's a heavy ground for Kavanagh's left foot, for his planted foot to be landing on when he goes to put on that ball. To, I mean, to get the power to into To get the, the power kick. into that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Summer football, and that's a different kick. And I just wonder, and we were talking about it at half time, and I just wonder if the late championship. Does it have an effect on the, the scoring rates? Does it have an effect on the... Number 10, uh, Robert Kelly is just going off with an injury here now and he'd been playing very well. Yeah, he was doing a lot, carrying a lot of ball into the Cairn U uh, defence there. He's gone off with an injury. He's been actually helped off there by Adrian Myers as well, which is Unlikely. his sportsmanship. John Kavanagh has a chance here to level this game. It's an awkward kick. He's only about five or six yards in from the sideline. He's about 32 or three yards out. Tries to wrap the bow around the boat, it's gone to the near post and dropped wide. And again, it's one of those. Maybe a given goal would have been a better option, but he needed the power nor the accuracy for that one. That was a tricky kick. As but the uh, light starts to fade here, I think I hear the generator starting up in the background over here. For the chip time. It'll be a kick out from Colin Tohey. Number 22, Ross Tyrrell is in instead of Robert Kelly there. Ball breaks in the middle of the field. A heavy clash of bodies in there, but ball is picked up by John Dial. Dial is dragged to the ground there. Again, under huge pressure from three or four tacklers. Again, Shane yeah. Kelly, Paddy McGing slips, but he's out there and he wins that ball. He kicks a loose one, though. The commentators curse, just as I said, how well he was playing. He's kicked the ball away and kicked it out under the stand. And both teams now just struggling to maybe just get a foothold back in this game because of the broken nature of the second half so far. But yep. Connell McRae is on the ball. McRae looks up, goes a long ball, looking for John Kavanagh inside. Kavanagh yeah. does well, but he wins his free. Harry Wilson was on his case. Bit of cuteness there from Kavanagh, I think. Bit of cuteness, absolutely. No, he did well to win it. Look, at did feel that pressure in the back. He got down, but uh, who's kicking this now? We had um, John Dyle in the first half kicked. Lovely one. He's on this again, is he? Yeah, he's lovely. Yeah, John Dyle Jr. will take this one as well. Should be within his range. Said it's uh, Owen Young is about to come on for Carnew by the looks of things. Paddy McGinn goes off, number 12. Yep, straight yeah. in on Shane Kelly, and you mentioned him. Shane Kelly's had a serious championship, but he's having a great game here again today. Now he's a yeah, when Conor McRae was in there, he was very sticky yeah. on him. He's been on John Kavanagh, he's been on you know, whoever's yeah. been put in there on him. He's been very, very good on him, to be fair. Yeah, not too many uh, man mark and cornerbacks left, but he's on him. John Dial steps up. As a look, this oh, one seems to have wrapped his foot well around it, straight over the bar, and we're back level here in Barton last. Carnew six points, Hollywood six points, 12 minutes on the clock as we get ever closer to the second water break. In this one, Colin, Colin Tohey will have the kick out. That's a lovely free there now, and that's not an easy free there now in the conditions, and he just curled that one over. Something you'd see in Croke Park, didn't you see the Gucci? Just Perfect connection, you know, by the sound of it yeah, sometimes. Yeah. That's good. It's Colin Tuhi kicks this one out. Good connection from him as well. Huge kick down the field. Brilliant, brilliant take by Caelan Burke in the middle of the field. Just when Hollywood needed possession, gets up, kicks it quick, gets it into Robert Holohan. Tommy Collins gets a hand and a boo in and knocks the ball away from next few minutes. Vital for both these teams, you think. As Parik Doran comes away with the ball. Look to give it to Conor McRae. He still has the ball. Doran does really well. Gets it into the hands of Jack Dyle. Dyle goes around the uh, tackle of Keane Tyrrell. Dyle carries it into the 21. Two men on his case. Was he pulled back? He was pulled back. There's no advantage there, surely. And another free to Carnew. And now the game is swayed the other way again. Yeah. It was all Hollywood early. And now Carnew are Carnew getting their five minutes. Carnew back on top. And hey, that's a great turn by Jack Dyle on the far side. Left the man for dead. But the tackle doesn't need to be so high, you know. You tackle that man a couple of inches lower than you are. And Jack Dyle's gone nowhere. But yeah, and I suppose look, the shoulder. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy from here too, I suppose, if you release him. Don't leave the hand there. Yeah, you know, if sometimes right. if you release it, doesn't look as it bad. Doesn't look as bad. Opportunity now. John's missed two. John Kavanagh 
Steps up to this one, chance for Kavanagh, he kicks this one high and he kicks this one over the bar and now Karen you lead again, it's, oh, it's tit for tat here in bottom glass, it's seven points to six here now. Coming up to the second water break, we have just about 14 minutes on the clock. When you have a powerful runner like Jack Doyle there, he takes a, a turn in the far side and just takes on the defence. I mean, it's an awful thing for defence to be looking at and fair play to him. He, uh, it's very hard to handle, as you said, in, in these conditions as well. Is, Kick out from Tohi again, Rex, or Rex, uh, Paul Nolan, it goes past everyone. Goes down and comes right out over the line, it's a Karen new line ball. Hollywood would have liked to win possession off that, Karen you are back in possession. Parik Doran taking the line ball. Couple of runners looking for the ball off him. Well hemmed in, well hemmed in. Ball comes down, there's a, there's a bit of shouting, there's something going on off the ball. I didn't quite see it. Conor McRae takes the ball. Looks like he barged, he did barge. He put the, he put the arm up high into Conor Burke as he was going by. So Noel Kinsler moves it up now as well. Conor Burke has a chance to look up. Only two men inside for Hollywood here. He hasn't a lot of options. And look to make the run, but Carnew filtered no one back in front of him either. He kicks the ball out as far as uh, John Teenburk. Teenburk looked like he was going to line up to shoot, but just as he did, the Carnew defenders converged and they've broken the ball away. And it's Jack Dyle gets the ball as far as uh, Michael Rocco. Great tackle there again from John Dyle. He's doing a lot of unsung work around the middle. It's not a simple day for anyone out there. Both teams are giving it their all. Ball is into the hands of Jack Dyle. Dyle solos. Mikey Healy lines him up, but Dyle gets away from him up the line. Turns and comes back with the ball. Needs support. Gets that support. It's Parik Thorne on the ball. He has a look at his options. Pops it off to Dyle again. Dyle comes or through the tackle, does he? Just about through the tackle, does well and gets the ball here as far as Owen Young. Owen Young just in on the field for Paddy McGinn. Gets his head up. Finds Conal McRae. McRae looks for an option. One of those options is John Kavanagh. Great ball in front of Kavanagh, but brilliantly read by Harry Wilson. Wilson comes out with the ball and pops the pass off here as far as Ben O'Keefe. O'Keefe solos, has a look, solos again. A little foot pass in inside. Brilliant foot pass in inside there as far as uh, PJ O'Keefe. He gives it to Stephen Kearney. Back to O'Keefe as Hollywood look to level this one. O'Keefe kicks this one. Oh, high and what a brilliant score off the left foot of PJ O'Keefe. We're level again, Frank. That was a brilliant score and I thought he had lost his opportunity when he turned away from Kearney but he got it back and against the run of play, running away from goal. He has to swing that one lovely. But I mean, direct ball. Harry Wilson... Uh, Cuts out a ball in his own 21, one kick pass, two kick passes, and there's a, a hand pass. I just him. think the ball into John Kevin, that's the wrong it's ball. Wrong, you're wrong kicking ball. away from the goal. Yeah. If you're going to put it in there, put it in high put on in him high. and let him battle. Yeah. You know, you're, you're getting him to run 40 yards and for a ball absolutely. that he's never going to get to. At this case stage. scenario, is collecting his own 45. Ball is kicked out. Parik Thorne is clattered oh. into by Robert Hull and play on. the referee, John Dyle, goes back to try and. Uh, rub it a green for Hollywood there. Rub it a green, I don't think. Looked like a free to Carnew, but Hollywood have got the rub of the green. Noel Kins is right over under the Hollywood dugout there. Carnew are just questioning the decision. They don't want to question it too much or it'll be moved into mm -hmm. kicking territory. In fairness to Hollywood, we've got a few of these frees in their own 40, or in the Carnew 45 and they're not taking the shots on. They are saying, look, it's a little bit too far. So, you know, they're making that clever decision. Here we go again now to go short. They go short, it's into the hands of Mikey Hill, oh, it's gone over the head, it's broken down and it's on, Kavanagh's on the ball, Kavanagh, he has pace, gets the ball in as far as John Dyle Jr., doesn't take it first time, it falls all right because it comes back to Kavanagh, Kavanagh oh, gets it in and there's a, uh, I think he got the ball, he nudges yeah. the ball away with his foot, I think that could be for the one down below maybe. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> he'll get away with it if he's playing for United and yeah. Tottenham at half five, but no, it's a... Uh straight up he got away with it now just got a little toe poke in there it looked like just it. watch this now what can you do they're on the they're on Callio's 45 with a free are they going short again John Kavanaugh's out he has the ball in his hands he you know from from maybe 10 yards closer he didn't yes. hit the target this is going to be a tough one it looks like he's going to try and put the boot through this one again seems to be a better connection it's a huge connection it's go. high and it's over the bar there and that's go. what you get for doubting John there Kevin I suppose yeah, fair play to him. look at he took it on the chin there a huge score we've 18 minutes on the clock we're looking for the water break here it's Carnew 8 points Hollywood 7 a really tight affair here, Frank. He took that interception by Harry Wilson five minutes ago personally. That's yeah. a serious score. I mean, he's after putting his boot right through that from 45 yards out. Fair play to him. And it's oh, uh, look, this seven. game is ebbing and flowing either way. You still can't call a winner no, here, to be absolutely fair. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Now, look, at, I was thinking about it coming down along. I mean, it's very difficult to beat a, a team twice in the championship. So that's what Hollywood were up against, just that. 
I suppose that statistic, but I mean, uh, very hard to call here. Purple patch either way, as they, we've said that phrase probably no, we've, too often. We've had probably two or three each at this stage. Have, Purple patches, have. they keep it. They both keep coming in and out of the game, and you know, it's, I suppose. Carnew at 8 7, if they can hit a purple patch now and get maybe another score or two, it'll be very hard for very Hollywood. Very hard for Hollywood to come back. But, but yet, if Hollywood hit the two scores they hit after yeah. the restart the last time, then Carnew were in trouble around the It's back almost boxes. a carbon copy of the first half in that uh, Hollywood got very few chances here in the second half and they've taken them mm. in the same way as Carnew did in the first half. Whereas Carnew's been playing all the football and what have they scored? They scored three points. Three points in three the, second, points in the so. second half. Uh, so it's interesting. Um, you know the old cliche fitness will play uh, a big part of it because uh, heavy ground and there's a lot of big hits going in a lot of sprinting going on it'll be interesting with the last 10 minutes who'll still have that speed of a billion legs and that's it so when Hollywood have hit their purple patch they look great when Karen you hit their purple patch they look really hard to handle so yeah. the next 15 will tell us all that was a great phrase. And Mick Murray, who you managed Hollywood a couple of years ago, speed repeatability. Could you repeat the speed? Mick was mad for speed repeatability. So I haven't heard of it since now, since I said it there myself. Well, I definitely didn't want to hear about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not your forte. Colin Tuhi about to take this kick out. This is it. Unless, it go, of course, it could go the extra time. But Tuhi goes long, a huge kick down the middle again, underneath a clash of bodies there. But that man, John Doyle, under it twice. It was under it when it was falling. He's just lost possession. Referee gives a free to Hollywood, says it was a, a throw ball. Carnew, again, not happy with that, but a kick with the outside the boot. It's a good ball inside. Uh, in as far as Ross Tyrrell is, no, it's Stephen Kearney. Kearney on front, he gives it to Tyrrell. Kearney twists and turns and has a look. Kearney get numbers back into position. Tyrrell pops the ball off to Mikey Healy. Hollywood come raiding again down to this, uh, down to the hospital end of the field. Connor Burke has a look. That one is high and it's dangerous and it's oh, what a score! What a score from Connor Burke. He's had a, he's been a bit quieter in the second half, but that's a huge score from the number five. He was excellent in the first half. A massive bomb he's dropped from 45 yards there to level the game. and Oh, we're staring an extra time in the face. I think Frank, the ball is taken, kick out's taken quickly into Parik Doran. Doran gets the ball out to Owen Kavanagh. Kavanagh takes it, Solos has a look, tries to be his man up the line, does, gets just about by him, but good play there from Harry Hoolan to get a hand on and just hold him up. Ball is into John Dyle Jr., takes a bit of a hop, tries to get it at the second attempt, does get it at the second attempt. Jerseys converge around him. Owen Young is on the ball. Pops it back to Jan Kavanagh. Kavanagh had to reach for it. Gets the ball. Will he look to kick with his left? No, he doesn't. Gives it to Jack Dial. Dial is recycled back out to Conor McRae. McRae pops the ball off to Jan Kavanagh. Back to John Dial Jr. He solos with the ball. Has a look up. Kicks the ball with his left foot. It's dangerous. It's in there, but it's dealt with, is it? No, it just gets away from everyone in there and ends up in the hands of Colin Tuhy. It looked like it was going to fall to Adrian Myers. The referee gives Colin Tuhy a free out. I think Colin played the percentages That's there. That's right, G. Get them free as a keeper. He did well he, there. Fair play. He team. looked at a wall of blue jerseys and he took the right yeah. option, to be fair, as Hollywood come raiding down the field again here. Uh, Sh uh, Shane Kelly's on the ball. Gets it out to Mikey Healy. Healy. He breaks the tackle, good play by Healy. Hollywood come racing down the field now. It's championship football here. Brilliant play though by Connor Wafer. Well read and takes the ball there under all sorts of pressure. Gives the ball to Owen Kavanagh. Kavanagh pops the ball out to Paul Nolan. Nolan tries to break two tackles. He's tackled strongly. He does well, gets it to John Doyle. He pops it to Michael Rock. Out as far as Jack Doyle. Doyle deep in his own half here as Carney will look to build again into the hands of Conal McRae. He pops it off to John Doyle. Doyle is lined up by Caelan Burke and it looked like... Oh, it was definitely a free, but had to be done. It was, it was a free, but it was a free worth giving away, I suppose, in that area of the field. Justin yeah. House on the ball now gets it back to John Doyle. Doyle, to be fair to him, he's covered every blade of it, and that's at this stage. He's done a lot of the dirty work for Karen Ewer around that middle third, as has Doran, pops the ball in as far as John Doyle Jr. Back to Colin McRae. McRae turns out of trouble, gives it to Doyle again. It's into the hands of Jack Doyle. He looks for Conor McRae now. McRae on the burst, gets to the 21, pops the ball inside the parry. Doran. Doran looks to take on the whole Hollywood defence, lines himself up, straightens himself up and kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. And a well-worked score from Carnew. Looked like a couple of times they'd possibly taken the wrong decision there. Ah, it's a good finish the there, but uh, it's the run by Conor McRae. You know, there's... They're messing around there, trying to get a... Yes. Next is McRae comes off and they it's incisive. take incisive. He just takes Brilliant. two or three players over. Drop it ashore. It's a great run. 23 minutes on the clock, that's including the water break. 
Can you leave nine points to eight here in Barton? That's Colin Tohey kicks a long ball down the field. Brilliant take again by Caelan Burke. Takes his mark, gets his head up, plays the ball quick into PJ O'Keefe. O'Keefe is out in front here. Twists and turns again. A good tackle in by John Dyle. It's a looping ball in. It's a dangerous ball in, but first to get back there is Harry Hulahan. Look to touch it on the ground. Play on to the referee. Hulahan fires a dangerous looking ball. It's hanging right in around the square. Good fist on it there from the Carnew keeper. Breaks the ball away, but only as far as the Hollywood man, Stephen Carney. Carney gets around Tommy Collins, kicks with the left foot. Oh, oh what, a, what a what a peach fabulous of a score fabulous. off yeah, the left yeah. foot there. Looked yeah. like it was probably the wrong option as yeah. he lined it up in a brilliant no, score. No, man, uh, man uh, in confidence. He's probably inside the 14 there, and he's probably 20 yards from the near post, and he's curled out with the uh, wrong side on his left foot. His weaker left foot, that's a serious score. Level no. the game again. Level the game again. It's nine points all. It's 24 minutes on the clock now. This game has opened up. It's a humdinger of a game of football. As Ben O'Keefe exits stage left here, and in comes Ryan Mulvey for Hollywood. Looks like a small, pacey player going yeah, in in the does. full forward line there as well. So if he can keep Rafer, and although I haven't seen enough of Michael Roth today now, a lad mm. who opened us up a few times playing against him, Fran Cora. Kick out comes from uh, Carmack Dyle, brilliantly taken by Owen Kavanagh. Kavanagh takes his mark and lashes the ball in in front of John Dyle Jr. He's out in front of Shane Kelly for once. Kelly has played second fiddle, good play by Dyle. Has a look at the post. Oh, if that comes in, it's some oh. score. That is some score from John Dyle Jr. A massive score from Dyle there off his left foot. Brilliant from the kick out, taken by Owen Kavanagh. He took his chance of a mark. Looked up, banged the ball in, but that's a super finish. Super finish, yeah. Look at your man straight in the eyes, turn back, and off you go at the left end, and he curls it over from the eyes, 35 yards out there after taking on a couple of solos and taking on his man. Fantastic score there by John Dyle, and that's three brilliant scores from him. Poor kick out for once from Colin, Ke or Colin Tuhi, and it breaks in as far as uh, John Dyle. He gets it to uh, Conal McRae. McRae kicks a long diagonal ball in as far as John Kavanagh. Kavanagh looks to take on Harry Wilson. He'll have to recycle. He does recycle the ball back out here as far as Owen Young. Young, though, blocked down. Brilliant block by Luca Harney, and ball breaks away down the field as far as Keane Tyrrell. Tyrrell is on the ball now. Ten points to nine here with 20 five and a half minutes on the block. Hollywood come raiding down the field with John Tienberg. Takes on Paul Nolan. Nolan tries to hold him up. There's an advantage. Surely that's not an advantage to any man. Give him his free. As Tienberg gets up, looks to take it quickly. Tries to steal the yard or two. Noel Kinsley's having none of it. It'll be Cale and Burke to kick this one. They're two great stylish players there. I tell you, I'm very impressed with um, who's 19 there. Caught this mark here. Oh, and Kavanagh. Ah, very yeah. stylish footballer. Yeah. 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 And a lovely ball up the line. The free has been moved up now. There's been a bit of pulling and dragging has went on off the ball between PJ O'Keefe and Adrian Myers. I think the umpires have had a word in Noel Kinsley's ear, and it's a very scorable free now after. Another opportunity no, to level it. Another opportunity to level it after this. This game is just ebbing and flowing from one end to the other. It's a real cracking game of championship football here. Stephen Kearney got the last score to level it for Hollywood. He's another chance here off his right foot. The last one was off his left. He's about 25 yards out, kicks this one. It looks like it's going away to the left of the post and wide. And Probably a lay half for the can you men there. Yeah, uh, Stephen with the right foot. He's actually got all his frees today on the wrong side. So you know they're either near left foot, left foot kicker, but um, it's a tricky one for him to get. Coming across the body like yeah. that. And these conditions, it's another chance for can you here. There's a sub coming, another sub coming in for Hollywood. Twenty-seven minutes now on the clock. A one-point lead here. Five left in a round then, so... Five, that's with the water breaking. We could have more. Yeah. We could have six or yeah. seven. There's, depending on the discretion of the officials, number 21 is on the game. It's Owen Burke. Yeah. Not sure who's gone there. Um, Keane Terrell. Ke Keane Terrell has gone and put in a serious shift here. That ball's around the middle of the field. Ball breaks as well, taken by Owen Young in amongst the crowd there. Takes it quick, gets the ball inside to John Dyle Jr. He gets out in front of his man again. Starting to get the measure of Shane Kelly in there for a change. Kicks a long looping ball across as far as Tommy. Collins gets his hand on it down as far as John. Back into Collins. Collins tries to head for the goal. Is he fouled? He is fouled and it's a free into Carnew. 
in a very good position for them and just got the look of the break there, can you? Couple of fumbles that just went their way, Frank, yeah, and yeah. they've got the free right in front of the yeah, post. John could have gathered that one now in his hands, but it was great. Um, the run inside, lovely bit of a fouling off the ball there by John Doyle. Fair play to him. That's what you want to see from inside forward. Whips the ball across. A great ball across the 21, and now he's going to stick this himself, I tell you. He's set up and he's going to finish that uh, score himself. He's having a fine second half. John Doyle Jr., he's about 21 or 2 yards out here on his left foot. We won't put the commentator's curse on him, it's not over the bar yet. Sets himself up, kicks it high with left, he's and over the bar, 28 and a half gone. 11 points to Carnew, 9 to Hollywood, this one's not over yet, there's lots of time left for either side here. We're in for a grandstand finish here in bottom glass. I don't know, is there a goal in Hollywood, Emmett? Mean, I don't see it, so two points is a, a good lead, but look at as you say, there's four or five minutes left. Colin Tuhi goes long down the middle underneath oh, his hands, but breaks in as far as Owen Burke. Can you just caught with numbers there as Luca Harney drills the ball in in front of uh, Stephen Carney, gets the ball right on that right foot. This time it's in the right position. Right. This time and a right brilliantly position. worked score there by Hollywood to bring themselves back within one. Just when it looks like one team is edging away, the other comes back with another. Hammer blow and it's a wonderfully worked score. Full forward play from the penalty spot, make your own out in the angle, little dip of the shoulder, turn on to the right over the bar. That's a great score now. Three minutes from the end of the game. Well done, Stephen. It's a great score from Car McDowell to take this kick out. Possession is vital at this stage of the game for both sides. A long kick out underneath the stand side. Bodies everywhere on. There's a hand on it from Hollywood. Breaks forward. Looks like it was touched oh, on the ground. He said it's a push in the back before that. It's Owen Burke is on the ball. Burke looks up, sizes up his options here. There's runs being made inside. Can you look to get numbers back? But it's broken down there by Paul Nolan. Gets it into the hands of Adrian Myers, who gives it to Parry Dorn. Dorn pops it out here to Conal McRae. McRae underneath the stand. Takes on one, two, three tacklers. Brilliant little pass to Jack Doyle. Doyle steps inside the tackle, does well. Ball is out to Tommy Collins. Another late tackle there on Jack Doyle. Takes a heavy hit. Chance here for Collins maybe to shoot. No. Recycles the ball back to Owen Kavanagh. He's going to shoot, but this has gone way to the right of Boston wide. There's a player in a little bit of bother here, and it's John T. and Burke. I think he's on a yellow, if I'm right. Is he on a yellow? I think he got a yellow in the first half. I haven't... All my stats with me now, I'm not sure, but... Oh, yeah. I think he may have got a well, yellow on the first half. It's away, it's either black or yellow coming out. Yeah. Late tackle, is it black now, isn't it? I think so, yeah. It's a cynical foul, I suppose. It's what, it's what the referee makes of it. The referee is asking, I think he's talking in the earpiece here at the minute. He's seen it, it was straight in front of him, it's his decision. <laughs> If you'd have missed Jack Daly, they'd have got him. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's number, ah, it's number 22. Him, yeah, 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 it's number 22 he's called now. Yellow he? here and say 15 is down the pitch, surely. He's just noting the time. It's 11 points to 10 here. It's a yellow card for Ross Tyrrell. It's 31 minutes. We're just, we're just, time is just up now if you include the water break here. So we're down to additional time. This one was always going to go all the way. It's still it's in, that, in the balance. Brilliant game of football. Huge kick down the field again. Underneath, lots Andy. of bodies. Ball breaks oh, off the end. It's Connor oh, Burke. It. Connor Burke has the ball. Uh, green jerseys flood forward here as Carnew tried to flood back. It's a high looping ball in. Brilliantly taken there by uh, the number 17, Ryan Mulvey. Mulvey recycles the ball back out to Owen Burke. Burke tries for the cross field ball. It's in. Hand on it there by Park Dorn. Breaks down as far as... Uh, PJ O'Keefe and he lashes the ball high and over the bar and we're going to be here for a while I think ah, that's this brilliant, brilliant. well done who was that PJ O'Keefe you said ah yeah. fantastic bit of experience there and the mark was on young lad didn't take it Mulvey my god that's a great score 11 points apiece now Emmett 11 points apiece here in bottom glass level pegging between Carnew and Hollywood and then he blows it up straight away to show he didn't play a lot no, of additional no. time on that but look I don't think either team deserves to go out the hope is that someone wins it before penalties. Before penalties, in my book, whoever yeah. it is, if you if you go die on your sword by a point or two here, is it's no shame in it. So I've often seen these turn into routes now. One team gets ahead in extra time, and the other one, the other, the other team drop. Be interesting to see how it finishes out. Yeah, look, both teams are going into their huddle there. We have 10 minutes aside then, extra time, and both teams going into it. We're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. You're getting big value for your money here today <laughs> in this one.
You're very welcome back to Barton Blast for the first half of extra time here. Uh, both sides just lining up. If there's any changes, we'll let you know. We're going by numbers here at the minute. There's after being lots of positional switches. Karen you will play into the hospital end in the first half. The cameraman is looking for gloves here. He's gone cold. He's lucky he's not out in real winter. He'd be in trouble. It's 11 points all. We're facing into two periods of 10 minutes to find out who gets into the final next Sunday. A huge battle. Hollywood, to be fair, looked dead and buried there. Frank, two points down and kicked two great scores to come back. It's anyone's again. Anyone's game. Absolutely. Everyone can't wait for it now. Ball is in and it's Ross Tyrrell is on the ball in the middle of the field. It's recycled back to Mikey Healy. Hollywood started started every time really well, but Connor Wafer is out there. He's marking Ross Mulvey. It's a foot race. Wafer goes back, tries to pick up the ball. Is he fouled? No, says the referee. Clash of bodies, play away. No one got free. There could have been a free either way. Uh, Adrian Myers down on the ball. Conor McRae wearing 14 is right back in his own cornerback position. Hollywood will be happy enough with that. Has Carnew tried to work the ball out through huge numbers here? John Dial is out. He's surrounded by green jerseys. They have to be free, Karen Newman somewhere. Ross Mulvey is pulled down right on the sideline, right out at the 14-yard uh, flag here. It's a free into Hollywood. Stephen Carney comes out to take this one. They will be doing well to keep up that level of intensity, Hollywood, but that was serious defending there. They must have had five lads pushed right up in the corner back there. Right up in the, in the uh, opposite end of the field. Uh, Kearney goes yeah, short to Caelan Burke, gets it back out to Conor Burke. He fancies his chances, but the foot just hasn't wrapped around this one. It's into the danger area there. There's a bit of a tussle underneath. It's gone out to the left of the post and gone wide, and it'll be a kick out to Kearney here and to Carmack Dial. It started the very same with the first half, Emmett. Hollywood pushed right up into the car park end. And I wonder will it pan out as the first half of, the, of normal time be like as well? Carl McDowell takes this kick, goes long down to the middle of the field, it goes over the head of everyone. Colin McRae tries to get there, it's right out to the sideline though. It's touched by McRae, tried to get a foot on it, it's a green ball, says the linesman underneath, it'll be a line ball to Conor Burke. Burke. 50 yards out from his own ball, pops up a little ball in in front of PJ O'Keefe. O'Keefe takes the ball, does really well. A fascinating battle with him and Adrian Myers all throughout this one. Mikey Healy has the ball, gets it back as far as Harry Houlihan. Houlihan solos forward, has a look, takes off with the ball. He's two Karen Newman after him. He's gone through the two tackles, gets to the 45, but there's numbers there from Karen New. It's blocked down and so on. Young looks for a free. There's no point looking around at her referee here. It's championship football. Loose ball on the ground, breaks back as far as Owen Burke into the hands over there. There's a Karen New player down with a bit of an injury it looks like it's cramp number 22 Ross Tyrrell is on the ball here for Hollywood Hollywood come probing into the car new half it's 45 yards out little pass from uh, PJ O'Keefe into Connor Burke Burke pops a little pass inside to Ryan Mulvey he's looked lively since he came on here Mulvey has the ball out in front of uh, uh, Paul Nolan it's into the hands of Mikey Healy Healy gets through and boxes the ball over the bar a well worked score a well taken score a cool head there from Healy could have maybe tried for the headline and went for a goal but just boxed it over the bar no, I knew that he was doing Healy fair play that's a great score now who's down the far side for Carnew number 13 John massive loss John Dyle and if that's a sign of where Carnew are at I tell you they could be under pressure a young lad like him cramping it's uh, not a nice place to be if your leg is cramping up next time Chance for Carl McDowell here to take the kick out. Karen, you need possession off of this. It's low, it's drilled, and it's all the way through to Shane Kelly. He's out in front, pops a pass off here. Now it's starting to open up, and it's into the hands of John Teenburg. Teenburg sizes up his options, but this one has gone high and it's drifted to the left and wide. And very, very like the first half in normal like time. The first half, that's wasteful. There was a man inside. I tell you, these absolutely every one of these scores matter, and that's a massive miss there now by uh, John, Teen, John Teenburg. Massive miss. They could rue that one. Three and a half minutes on the clock here. Goes short this time. Carmack Dial. Oh, the pressure's on and it falls into the hands of Stephen Kearney. Kearney gets the ball off here and it's into PJ O'Keefe. Chance here. Goal! A turnover from a kick out. A short kick out to Kearney. You haven't tried all day, but brilliantly turned over and brilliantly finished by PJ O'Keefe there. 1 12 to 11 points there now. A huge score in the context of this game, Frank, but well taken. A lovely finish. That's a great finish. A real striker's finish, but. Um, yeah, what happened, can you use the fence there? They hope they don't panic or they could be in for a bit of a rout. It's often the case these extra times, they're nipping, go, nipping, touch and go for 60 minutes and then one team just pulls away. So it's opened up to four well, points here now. The goal was always going to be a huge score yeah. in this game, no matter what. It's been so tight all along. There was never any more than two points in it at any stage. And but that's as good a finish. That's a lovely finish. One on one, the keeper tucks it in just below him, just below the outstretched hand. That's a great finish. Shows you know where the post is. on the ground, the keeper. 
Cormac Doyle seems to be in a bit of trouble, whether it was a late tackle or something on PJ Keefe, or PJ Keefe is still down. If he gets away with it, it was the right thing to do, now he's out to hurt him there, the goal's gone, yeah. all right, yeah, look, yeah, look at You'd imagine if it's that late in that area, he's yeah. lucky to get away with a yellow, but as we said, there's four minutes and far just five minutes on the clock here. Can you need the next ball? There's a player on the ground with the kick out has gone awry again and it's into Ross Tyrrell. Pops the ball off to Stephen Carney. Hollywood are all over Can you here now. Ross Tyrrell kicks this one high and it's over the bar. A five point lead now for Hollywood. They're on fire at the minute. The difference being they're taking their chances now. Their scores this time. Yeah, they are indeed. They've had a couple of these purple patches. They didn't quite nail the finish, but they're nailing it now, to be fair to them. Yeah, look, at the ones that they'll miss is testament to Carnew's defending, and to be honest, they might be on their feet here, but all I'll say is it's a massive, it'll be show massive character for Carnew to come back from this now, five points down, probably 15 minutes of extra time Long left. Kick out again, there. Hollywood win it again. It's Ross Tyrrell charges forward. It's Robert Houlihan, actually a heavy challenge on him from Jack Doyle. Houlihan goes to ground, and it's a free in, and it's another scorable free here for Hollywood. Little bit of messing going on on both sides here now. No need for it. There's a player down injured. There's a free given. He was unlucky get to lose that free now. That could have been um, that could have been a good tackle. I'd say again, a little bit lower and referee have no reason to give that free. So unlucky to give that away. All the momentum now with this Hollywood side. A big kick here now. Stephen Carney again. He's you know he's only about five yards in from the 45. That's <laughs> it's easy look at it from the the commentary box here and say look he'll tap that over. But he's a fair distance out there now and. I tell you, can you take you great pleasure was he not to kick it? If you're a manage a management point of view, do you take a minute out of the game and bring your keeper up? And bring your keeper. Yeah, he could do. He could do. But he's he yeah. kicked one again. Us, he kicked one there. He didn't miss. He didn't score either. Of them now, I need these keepers come up. Need to be kicking a moment. Yeah. Well, Stephen, Stephen, Stephen Carney is right in front of the post here. We're six and a half minutes into this first half of injury time. And he's been on farm today. In fairness to him. Carney eyes this one up. He's been a thorn in Carney's side all day. A chance for him to put it out to six and surely nail this game. He no, kicks no, this one high. It's gone away off his bow. He went for looking for the distance. Well kept in though by PJ O'Keefe. Again, a bit of experience and it's way wide by the umpire. Bit of a let off there. Bit of a let off. It, kept it. it was well kept in by PJ O'Keefe mm -hmm. to be fair to him. Keeping the ball alive. Carl McDowell goes for the kick out, pops a little ball out as far as Justin House here. He gives it out as far as Michael Rock, but now he drops the ball. House goes back to pick up the pieces. Huge pressure on the car Newman again. Brilliant tackling from Hollywood there. Connor Wafer gets the ball, pops Happy. it out here as far as a loose looking pass. Paul Nolan does the best he can. Tommy Collins goes down the ball. It's right underneath his leg. He tries to pick it up again. There's huge pressure from the Hollywood men. He wins the free, Collins. I'm wondering if there wasn't five points in it would have been a free. <laughs> <laughs> You get the bell, well, Karen, you'll be given plenty of chances. Long kick down this the field in in front of John oh, Dale Jr. Again, Kelly it's again. knocked away by Shane Kelly as far as Harry Hula, and it's a line ball, according to the linesman on the far side to Karen you. Hollywood are not. Players were playing away like it wasn't even out. No, but. no, I tell you, and that man won't be, uh, won't be overturned either on the far side, that <laughs> linesman. He's not being overturned, he's talking into his mic there to the referee, pointing the flag. Pointing the flag. <laughs> But I tell you, Shane Kelly's after cutting out a, a potential, potential great attack there by Carnew, and uh, this will really take the win. Only for about probably three minutes, John Dial got his measure in the second That's half right. there. That's right. Shane, but other than that, he's been fantastic. Fantastic. The, he's absolutely it's actually been a great support. battle because um, Dial even ordered from freeze. He's after kicking some serious scores there now today, so you couldn't say he's off arm. So that's been a great battle between them two boys there in the corner. This is a massive kick. Massive kick. If we can nail this, it'll just about maybe. Give a little bit of hope. It's eight and a half minutes on the clock. One thirteen to eleven points to Hollywood here as John Dyle Jr. kicks this one. It's in around the danger area. It's, it's in really effort. dangerous. Ball is in. Oh, oh, right across the face of the goal away for a forty-five and chance another chance for Carnew. But it was definitely panic stations was, in there. Yeah, yeah, and I'd be pepper now if I was a Hollywood supporter. There is opportunity for goal there for Carnew. The big strong men, McRae, John Cabin in there. You know, fist is, can be thrown up there. You're down to two points. So look at. I'd say Carney will probably focus on the goals for another while. Hopefully they don't overdo it. Owen oh, Kavanagh is going to kick this. He's had a good innings today as well. Yes. Young Kavanagh, he looks a couple of lads looking to go short. He's I'm looking to go in. short. He's going to lob it in. It's a dangerous ball. It breaks John outside John Kavanagh. Oh. Just evades John Kavanagh. It's gone to the left of the post and wide. And mm. I still think you have to kick a point there or try and yeah. kick a point there. You know? 
You're never going to get through that wall of bodies no, with a low no. ball there. You have to try and put that ball in around the crossbar anyway. 14 men back there, you're not going to get that score. No, no. So Colin Tohey will take this kick out. A huge first half of extra time here. Shane for Kelly gone off. For Collywood. That's it. An injury, maybe Hollywood with one eye on next Sunday now as well. He'd be a big worry if he was to be injured. Well, again, it could be cramp, it seems to be. Rampant out there at the minute. Hollywood's keeper, Colin Tohey, again drives a long ball down the field. It's broken away, but it's into the hands of uh, Conal McRae. He gets it to Jack Dyle. Dyle gets forward with the ball, pops a pass outside him. Looks, it's a loop and hand pass. It's into the hands of uh, Owen Kavanagh. Kavanagh gets through a chance for Kavanagh. Here is their shot through a line of bodies. Brilliant block down by Mikey Healy. He does really well to number six. It's a loose pass, though. Conal McRae twists and turns inside, drops the ball and drifts it. And it's gone to the left and wide and just kicked the ball over the bar, lads. Kicked the ball over the bar, yeah. but I tell you, there's definitely shouts for a free in there now. I'm surprised it wasn't given on Kavanagh, giving the benefit of the doubt. I probably couldn't have got that score at the end or that goal at the end when he kicked, but it was a great run through and maybe should have tapped it over, bring it back to forward. Yeah, probably. A little bit of inexperience on everyone's behalf there. Can you head for the huddle? Hollywood or boy. Now there's a spring in their step there. Five point game here, as we said. And yet, can you finish the game on top? Finishing the half on top. Uh, yeah, can you lads jogging back to the huddle? It's always a good thing to see lads fresh going back to the huddle. Uh, you definitely hear boys thinking they should be tired from off the pitch, but look, there's a bit of a spring in the step there. Them Carnew boys will be interesting to see what uh, they come out with now. They've 10 I minutes see, to salvage this. I suppose this. the whole thing for Carnew is to just try and go direct now and find a crack somewhere. Absolutely. but <laughs> There look hasn't been playing. many in the no, Hollywood defence, no, to be fair. Been very good. But probably their linchpin there now and their um, most solid defender has gone off in Shane Kelly. Is there a hole there? And look, at they're playing into the scoring end. Um, Carnew are most of the scores and up into this uh, right-hand car park end there. Um, you have to ask the question now, I suppose, and that's all they can do is throw caution to the wind for ten minutes. And but it's off your case. You're five down. You might as well be about yeah, eight or nine now, right. as, as five. Yeah. You know. How do Hollywood kick five points there in ten minutes, and they kick, you know, ten, ten points in sixty minutes? Yeah. It's gas the way it goes. And yeah. oftentimes, when it is nip and tuck, there is often a bit of a rout in second in in, in extra time. And I wonder we'll be seeing that there now today. But as we said, every after every break after. The, you know, to throw in the first half, throw in the water break, throw in the second half, yeah. throw in the second half. Hollywood have come out of traps. Yes. Like has, lightning uh, all yeah, along, and yeah. they did so there, but they just nailed their scores they at did. the right time there. Well, the tails are up. So we see that getting their few minutes, Noel Kinsley are happy to give both teams their few plenty minutes. Of time, yeah. Plenty yeah. of time, and plenty of time to sort themselves out. It's a, it's a big. Big ass for Carnew. Hollywood now just need to manage their game. It's 10 minutes, yeah. you know. No goals. Simple no, as that. No Carnew goals. won't kick five points in, in 10 minutes. They just very unlikely that they will. So. Without conceding one. You'd Without conceding one. That's <laughs> yeah, right. You know, that's right. You have to imagine. So, um, so no you goals. Play the percentages. Is that to, yeah. the term the pundits that's use? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're a pundit now. So, may go with it. Yeah. Hollywood come back out on the field. Carnew are there in their positions ready to go. It's what should be the final 10 minutes of this yeah. one it's 113 to Hollywood here it's 11 points to Carnew Noel Kinsley is looking for a ball to throw in here we can't play without one Adrian Myers throws the ball to Noel Kinsley there so we're just about ready to go everyone's in their positions Carnew have Justin House John Kavanagh and Owen Kavanagh in the inside line there now so they're probably going to look to go direct and Owen Kavanagh yeah. is the speed inside the ball as in the second half of extra time is on breaks out here first it's Robert Hole and goes to ground on that one it's a scrappy play again but Parik Dorn gets the ball pops it out as far as Adrian Myers Myers comes hunting up the field John Dyle gives looks to give it back to Myers you're trying to tread a needle there with all those green jerseys that man PJ O'Keefe is back there a serious extra time by O'Keefe just caught him possession though right as I said it has Jack Dyle gets the ball lashes the ball in in front of Justin House comes off House though, into the hands of uh, Be the number 19 I'm not sure John O'Keefe John O'Keefe gets out yeah. with that ball he gets it out as far as Ross Tyrrell Tyrrell pops okay. the ball inside home but great play here by uh, Hollywood as the gaps start to open as Carnew push forward Burke has a look 
Drills the ball high. Oh, what a score from Owen Bar. Oh, no, it's off the post. Sorry. I was watching the, the, the keeper was swinging out of crossbar. I said it's gone over. It's came back off the post. Can you? Bit of a lay off, but they'll have to get the ball the length of the field now and they'll have to get it up there quick. They've got as far as their own 45. It's a loose pass that they just about get away with. Tired bodies on both sides. As Tommy Collins comes away with the ball. He's tackled twice, three times. He wins his free. Tries to break away and get a look. They need runners, they need someone somewhere to go through the pain barrier here. It doesn't seem to be happening. Hollywood have done really well up to this point as uh, the ball is in the hands of Parry Dorn. He's eyed up by PJ O'Keefe. O'Keefe Drop right back where he should. Done really well, O'Keefe there. And probably unlucky to give away a free, but might have went too far no, with the holding yeah. up. Yeah. I suppose the yeah. pattern of the game is when both teams have played well in it, but when Hollywood have played well, they've probably played better. Yeah, yeah. And, that's, and look, as we said, that first 15 minutes of the first half, this could have been over. Could have been over, yeah. You know, yeah, absolutely. And, and could have had one three that didn't even register. Like for Karen, you to go in and point up at half time, you just, I'm sure if you look back at the video, you'd wonder how. But Conor yeah, McRae is on the ball now in the middle of the field, runs at the defence, pops a long, ball. dangerous looking ball in in front of Justin House. House takes it at the second attempt, does he? Just about, yeah. He needs support, though. He's right in on the end line there. Good play by the. Uh, Hollywood backstall numbers back there and Harry Wilson is back there and now there's space here for uh, Robert Houlihan to carry the ball into he looks up there's no one inside there's no one making a run they're just happy to hold possession Houlihan does really well and wins his free he goes to ground there it'll be a free into Hollywood it'll eat another minute or two out of the clock here No, Kinsa tells him you're fouling with two hands you can't do that Soft enough free to give away or for, for no the ref maybe the call there could let it on. Soft one to give away anyway yeah. in that position, I suppose. They had turned him and bottled him up yeah. and you know. He done really well to drag the free out of it though. He's covered lots Look. of ground. Probably you see it not another day. minute, another sixty seconds out of what's only ten minutes, you know, and yeah. Oh and Burke talk about taking the free, drops the ball, he's having a look. I think Owen kicked that last and it came off the post there as well and he can tell whoever he likes but that was a pass. There's no way he was going for a score there, <laughs> simple as that. Passing it to someone in the car park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Alone Burke goes That's back clever. with the ball, gives a good play there by Burke, plays a little one to him, carries the ball down the line here, needs a little bit of support, finds it in us. That man, PJ O'Keefe again, he's on the ball, he twists and turns, oh, he's gone to short row, in along the end line, kicks the ball high and kicks it out of the bar. And if extra time was anything to go by, PJ O'Keefe has been instrumental. Absolutely brilliant. That's a fantastic score. The energy he's shown there now to get on that ball, take on the man. Lovely finish as well. No, that's a great score by PJ O'Keefe. Short kick again from Carnew. This time it's worked out. John Dyle gets the ball to Tommy Collins. Three and a half minutes on the clock with six and a half minutes to go in this one. It's Parik Dorn gets up the field with the ball. Solos has a look, tries to get to it the second attempt. Does get to it at the third attempt. Is he foul? He is. Yeah, has an advantage, there's no advantage there, takes a quick, pops it inside, but player inside wasn't ready for it, and it's a free out for a pull back there. A player out in front got the advantage, as Sean O'Keefe done well there, out in front of his man, and uh, Harry Wilson goes long, but kicks the ball away as far as John Dyle, the Hollywood lad's not happy with that, gets the ball into John Dyle Jr., John Dyle Jr. sizes up his options, has a look, tries to kick as he's kicked it, pushed as he kicks it, it's a free in. I know they need a goal, but they need a point or two as well. See, that's, that's <laughs> the thing. And they probably have brought four tacks to go for goal mm. and they've got an air score out of it. And really, maybe those four points will be bringing it down to three. It's, yeah, yeah. It's a, then that's hindsight. That's yeah, that look, it's easy. It's easy. Kick football from the trailer. It is, here. it is, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably still looking at five minutes left. This John will hope you bring it back to five points here. Chance for John Kavanagh here, kicks this one high and kicks it over the bar. It's 1.14 to Hollywood, 12 points to Carnew. As extra time ebbs away here, we're just coming up to the five minute mark. Hollywood have the easier the jobs now for the next five, six minutes. You know, they just have to defend the five point lead, whereas Carnew, a lot of things have to go right for him. There's a sub coming in on the Hollywood team, another sub, so. Okay. I think it's Cale and Burke, a huge shift going in the middle of the Brilliant. field there by Burke. Coming back in is Keane Terrell. So they're moving the deck chairs around a bit, the Hollywood men. Long kick out again, huge kick this time from Colin Toy. He hangs it up in the air, Owen oh, Burke is under, it breaks inside. Paul Nolan gets to that ball, he's underground, he's in a little bit of bother, he wins his free. Uh, Adrian Myers looking to take it quickly, does take it quickly and pops it back as far as Colin McRae. McRae deep in his own half here, he needs to get Kanyo up the field quickly. Again, there's a wall of green jerseys ahead of him. 
He's stopped and he's run, but he gets the ball off to Parry Dorn. Dorn comes bombing forward. They back to McRae. McRae gets the ball to the top of the league. Gives it to Jack Dial. Dial again has three men facing him up. Is there a free? No. He gets the ball, just tries to get it back there. Bodies collide in there and it's brilliantly picked up by Luca Harney. Harney, again, the ball is on the ground. There's a tussle of players around it. You'd imagine the referee will blow for something here shortly. There's nothing developing. Yeah, he'd made great ground there. It's a great run by McRae, but again, that pass, the looping pass over the top. We don't have time. That kills the attack again. Kills the attack and look, you know, Hollywood just done exactly what they had to do. They yeah. got the numbers in the right place there. across the top of the D. And a huge fist on that one from Keen Terrell there. Ball breaks out to Tommy Collins. Collins picks it up under huge pressure yeah, from Robert Hole and breaks the ball away there. Takes a heavy knock there. No advantage there in my book, but it's an advantage as the referee is. Parik Doran comes away, gets the ball off here. Chance to Jack Dyle, gets the ball into Adrian Myers. Myers tries to swing a leg at. Oh. Ball is blocked. It's back out to Tommy Collins. Collins gets the ball back, tries to go through a wall. A player, surely that's a foul. Play on, says the referee. There's all sorts of uh, pinball going on in there. Looks like Hollywood have come away with the ball. They have now, they've lost it. There's a group of players there. It's almost like a rolling ball. It's back to Conal McRae. He kicks it high, yeah. lashes yeah. the ball high, and okay. lashes it over the bar. And it's back to a four point back game. Four points. 114 to 13 points. There's three a minutes to go. There was a goal chance on. We have three um, minutes to go here, and well, it's a two score game again. Mm -hmm. Are you piling under pressure? No, Ginson is telling the goalie to hurry up and take his kick here. Again, a huge kick from Colin Tohey way down the field underneath Park. Dorn gets a hand that breaks to John Doyle. Doyle on the move here as Karen Newcomb comes swarming forward. Again, the kick is away from the front of the goal. Though it's into Justin House. House has Sean O'Keefe on his case. Tries to shirk the tackle. He does. Gets the ball out. Out as far as Colin McRae. McRae should kick this ball. He lashes it high. And he lashes it to the right of the post and wide. And even if that had went over, it had made it a one score game, but never looked like he knew the way he shaped up. Yeah, he was all up his body too much. Yeah, no, he's kicking that one to the right hand side all day. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a massive, that's a massive loss. That could be the, the nail in the coffin. Alan Tohey will take this kick out. We have two minutes to go here. A long two minutes if you're from Hollywood. <laughs> Longer if you can you. Tohey kicks this one. Huge kick down the middle again. It looked like a push in the back. Surely it was a push in the back. Play on to the referee. Then he gives the free to Parry Dorn. No harm done there. Dorn takes it. Gets the ball out to Kavna. Kavna has the ball. They're calling for it inside. They want it long. Gives the ball out here to Owen Young. But it's away from the goal again. It's the wrong decision. He gets down. Picks up the ball. Luca Harney's on his case in a second. Good play from Harney. Looks for a free for over Karim. As Carnew tried to work it in. Back to Owen Kavna from Parry Dorn. Kavna has dragged to the card. ground. There's a black card here coming, I'd say, for Mikey Healy, and probably right up. <laughs> yeah, he did the right thing, yeah. did the right thing, and it's important, Karen, you don't react, which you haven't done, yeah. but did the right thing. Look, at he'd be off for the last minute and a half, but he, uh, but look at sloppy pass there, sloppy hand pass from Owen Kavanagh, 19 is no Owen Kavanagh out the yeah. way, and it took the, it takes the sting out of the attack. I mean, those hand passes have to go to hand if you're trying to make any ground. Yeah, and look, you know, it's one of those, like, this is the time you have to go for the goal. You know yeah. these passes out to the wing are great; they look good. But you know, it's the goal is where you do damage now at this stage of the game. Should bring it back to one here now, and it's oh Christ! Oh, it's just a commentator's curse. Frank has gone away off his boot and has gone to the left of the post and wide. And that's probably the the yeah. nail in the coffin of yeah. Carnew. I'd say if they'd have got that back, they could have had one rattle of a goal to get hit the penalties. But see his standing leg there now is hurt. I mean yeah. that's a tricky place for him to be. Maybe yeah. should have brought John Cavan yeah. out to tip that one over. Yeah, Chance that's... here for Colin Tohey. He should he up another minute with 15 yeah, seconds on my watch. He hasn't played a lot of extra time, but drilled straight down the middle into the hands of Owen Kavanagh. Kavanagh takes off with the ball. Solos has a look. Karen, you need the ball in in front of the goal now. Conal McRae has a look at what's in front of him. There's a lot of green jerseys and there's a lot of uh, players back there. Oh, he somehow gets past the tackle, gets it back to John Dendur, back to McRae. McRae has a chance to carrying it into the danger area. Shot. Blasted and a deflection and a good save by Colin Tohey and away comes Harry Houlihan there with the ball. Houlihan gets the ball off. Hollywood look to lift the siege as it were. They do lift the siege. They get the ball out the field. A late tackle among the Hollywood players coming out but they're still going up the field with the ball. Good play from Hollywood. It's a loose hand pass though. Breaks to this side of the field and it's uh, Brian Mulvey I think is on this yeah, one. Is it Brian Mulvey? There's a free man inside. Go, and this could be the 
the final play of the game. It's into the hands of John Tienburg. He has a look up. There's a man screaming for the ball inside. He gets the ball inside. Chance here for Robert Holland. Yeah. Goal for Hollywood. And it's game over in Ockram. Yeah. It's 2.14 to 13 points. A well-worked move. Carnew had to push up to try and get the goal. It didn't happen. And it's Curtin's now a seven-point victory here for Hollywood in this extra time here. Yeah, seven points. Look at it, it often happens. You know, it goes extra time and it breaks out to six, seven points. There's no way you saw that 15, 20 minutes ago. And all fair play to Hollywood. I mean, they're, I think they probably were uh, due for their, score, for their win there. Yeah, and they say, look at the probably, as you said, when they played better, they played better, they and did. that was it. And yes, that's, that's it. But the margins come down to it. Parik Dorn tries to break away with the tackle. It looked like a handoff. It's all over. It's all over. It's all over. Hollywood have booked their place in the Darcy Sands Intermediate Football Championship final for 2001. A resounding victory in extra time at the end of it. 2.14 to 13 points. Uh, fully deserved. Uh, as we said, the better team, when they were on top, they were the better team. Just yes. didn't take their scores early doors. And that was the difference. That's why we were here till yeah. now. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but reason. Look, thanks a million to Frank, Eugene and Stephen for everything. We're going to wrap things up. We'll be back tomorrow with Ratnew and Blessington in Ockram for the first one. And the second intermediate semi-final then is in Arta. We'll get to that barn uh, calamity of penalties in the first one or something. So <laughs> we'll talk to you and see you all tomorrow. Thanks everyone for tuning in.